making it this evening for joining us. So uh, once again, it's Friday and it's 7 o'clock. So uh, let, we'll be starting with our opening song with an opening mm -hmm. prayer. Hopefully, uh, Father Tony can join us. Uh, otherwise, uh, we will carry on uh, without him. But uh, I, we hope and pray that he'll be here to join us. Okay? Okay. Okay, cool. Let's get started. Somebody is calling. Hold on, please. Hold on. I just assigned some uh, uh, co host. Co host, si Ate Christine. Yeah. Uh, Ate Christine co hosted ka. Kuya Dinky co hosted ka. Bro uh, Edric. Accept na lang yung mga. Uh, Iko co hosting kita, Bro Edric. Okay, bro, Edric. Okay. Okay. Serve you wherever you 
Good evening, mga kuya and mga ate, brothers and sisters in Christ. Let us all uh, be mindful that we are in the holy presence of God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Gracious and Holy Father, grant us the intellect to understand you, reason to discern you, diligence to seek you, wisdom to find you, a spirit to know you, and a heart to meditate upon you. May our ears hear you, may our eyes behold you, and may our tongues proclaim you. Give us grace that our way of life may be pleasing to you, that we may have the patience to wait for you and the perseverance to look for you. Grant us a perfect end, which is your holy presence, a blessed resurrection and life everlasting. We ask this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As, As it, it was, was in the beginning, beginning is now, and ever shall be, be world without end. Amen. Amen. Mary, help of Christians, pray for us. Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Magandang gabi po sa inyo lahat. Good evening sa lahat. Ayan, mag Good evening Good evening po. Magkamera stud muna kayo para magkakitaan muna tayo before we start. Yan. Yan. Good evening po. Good evening. Magandang gabi sa inyo lahat. Hoy, andyan si Ate Rachel. Andyan si na Ate Marisa. Si Ate Gabs. Si Kuya John V. Uh, si Kuya Sister Butch. Sonia. Kuya Butch. Okay. Eh, si Ate Liberty. Yan. Andyan na ba si Father? Na nakadating ba si Father Tony? No po. Awa oh, na, hindi pa sumasakot. Uh, let me see. Huh? Here, Dad. Second page. page. There. Page Baka nandiyan si Father Tony. Wala pa siya. Oh, wala pa si Father Tony. Wala pa po. Okay, wala pa si Father Tony. Okay, so, uh, uh, sana, sana maka, makarating siya at maka, makajoin sa atin. Ano, huh? Okay, so... Uh, once again, uh, it's a beautiful Friday evening uh, and uh, it is more beautiful because you decided to come and join us tonight uh, for our uh, new series that is the elements of the Catholic Mass. No? Uh, sabi natin, the, the Catholic or the Mass is the source and summit of our Catholic faith. Uh, kaya napakaganda po na we come to understand the Mass more and more, no? Uh, time and again po, we're receiving comments from you uh, who are joining us. Sabi nga ng kuya rin ni Ate Baby, 
Alam mo, ngayon ko lang nalaman yung kanina. Parang gano'n, ano ha? And uh, it's so amusing and then at the same time amazing to to know that sometimes it's a little bit hard to believe na yung mga regular mass goers, sila pa ang nagsasabi na ngayon ko lang nalaman yun, no? Uh, meaning uh, new, new discoveries uh, considering we have been attending mass for quite a while and we have been attending regularly, no? Uh, yung iba... Uh, daily, yung iba at least weekly, no? And yet, there's so much more to uncover uh, regarding our Holy Mass. And tonight will not be different, except we'll be learning more, okay? Uh, uh, let me just share my screen. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so Again, po, uh, just for us to uh, to refresh uh, our start, no. Uh, our objective for undergoing this uh, series on the elements of the Catholic Mass, all right, is basically to appreciate the beauty of the Mass, no. Uh, ang usapan nyan natin, na we define appreciate. Yung bang we would like to find the real value, uh, kung ano nga ba talaga ang ganda ng Santa Misa. And that is what we're doing right now. And um, we just have not so long uh, uh, episodes, uh, just about uh, technically about nine episodes or eight episodes, so to speak. Uh, but then we are full of, uh, shall we say, information, insights, and hopefully inspiration as well. Okay? Yeah. So this po our entire session three. We will be handling four topics or four episodes for session three. Okay, so we have episode five uh, that is entitled uh, Processions. No? And then we have episode six. Uh, we'll be dealing with signs and symbols. Ayan. Pagka pinag signs and symbols, it become more interesting, sometimes a little bit intriguing. No? And then episode seven, we'll be talking about the sacramental signs in the Mass. And then on um, uh, episode eight, we'll be dealing about the purpose of the Mass. Bakit nga ba tayo may Santa Misa? No? Yung tinatawag natin source, uh, source and summit of our Catholic faith. Ang tanong, bakit nga ba? No? Bakit meron tayo? Yan. Okay. So, uh, now for our uh, uh, first segment, Okay, uh, we will be delving on the processions. Uh, and I would like to ask you to take note of this question we now have on the screen. No? Why are processions important in the Mass? Okay, so uh, that will be our, uh, our start for, uh, uh, for tonight's session. Uh, why are processions uh, important at the start of the Mass? Uh, bago po natin panoorin yun, ano, ha? ito po observation ko lang. Uh, I hope I'm wrong, but I'm afraid I'm right. Tingnan niyo rin po yung observation. No? Ano, ha? Uh, kung pareho tayo ng observations, baka naman ako lang ang naiba observation. Kasi ako po usually, lalo na po yung uh, sa, um, actually po ang aming schedule sa mass sa Good Shepherd is 9 o'clock, no? So when we come into the church, uh, lagi na po akong pumipesto doon po sa kalikod-likuran kung saan nagagaling po yung entrance procession. Ano po? So from there at the back, nakikita ko po lahat ang mga nangyayari hanggang, hanggang sa harapan. Ito po yung observation ko. Uh, sana huwag magalit si, si Lord sa akin. Ano, ha? Ang uh, na-observahan ko po, <clears throat> uh, compare also to your own observations, ano ha? While I'm saying some, some short prayers there at the back, I cannot help but see everyone in front. No? Alam niyo ang naobserbahan ko, parang bag ang pumasok ako sa auditorium, yung naghihintay, kunyari pupunta ka ng auditorium, manonood ka ng stage play. play, no? stage play. Siyempre, yung mga, siyempre kunyari, ang, uh, ang stage play magsisimula ng alas 9. So you should be there before 9 o'clock. Right? Pag nasa ganun, pag, pag simula, nandun ka na. Ang naobserbahan ko lang po sa mga tao, merong iba nagkukwentuhan, 
meron pong iba nagse-cellphone, ah uh, meron iba pa inag- naghahabulan yung mga anak nilang kasama nila sa misa. Ano ha? Uh, para bagang ang nakikinita ko, wala masyadong pagkakaiba yung pagpumunta ka ng auditorium para manood ng stage stage play. No, para bagang naghihintay ang sasabihin for example ng uh, public address system Um, you may now put your cell phones on silent mode. <laughs> We're about to start. Uh, no video taking, etc., etc. No, parang ganon na nakikit na kinikinita ko no. Until finally, of course, our uh, commentator will will ask us to stand up and then pray. For example, the uh, the, the the our prayer to the good shepherd. No, meaning therefore, I magsisimula na, kasi ito na yung prayer of the good shepherd. So dahan-dahan niya itatahimik na ang mga tao. Sabi ko, walang iniwan sa ano sa auditorium pag kami stage play pala. All right? Sabi ko para bagang um, di ba last uh, Friday pinag-usapan natin the church building, no? Parang hindi na iba yung simbahan natin sa isang auditorium o, o kaya sa isang uh, parang social hall ba no? na kung saan may event. I hope and pray na itong ating tinatalakay ng mga series ngayon. Sana maiba ngayon ang ating pananaw. No? Magkaroon tayo ng paradigm shift. Like last Friday, we realized that our church building, while it is a building made of concrete, made of wood, etc., etc., and sabi nga, more than a building, uh, it is actually, di ba, parang a representation of a holy place where we can meet God in praise and worship, where we can pray to Him, and where we can let Him meet us. No? Um, the the first time uh, we heard Mass here, uh, nandito po kami ngayon sa Singapore, no? uh, we came last Saturday. The first thing that we did in Singapore was to attend Mass on Sunday. Na napasin ko lang po. No po, pinumpumunta po kami doon sa Church of the Sacred Heart. Ah, uh, na yung po simbahan, parang yung sa atin din naka maliit lang po yung simbahan, hindi, hindi ganoon kalakihan ano ha. So, naka-close yung door, pero may mga ushers po sila at saka ushers. So, bago ka pa umabot sa pinto, binubuksan na yung pinto. Hindi lang po automatic eh, manual eh, no? May mga ushers na nagbubukas ng pinto at sinasalubong ka sa harapan. And then, ang ka, ka, kainaman pa... They, they usher you to your seat. O, oh, pagbukas ng pinto, may, may usher it. Ia-usher ka ngayon sa, sa place na medyo nagugustuhan mo. No? They will usher you, ililid ka on some vacant seats. And then parang tinatansya ka, gusto niyo ba maupo dito? Ganyan, no? So, parang para ang sarap naman no, yung... Parang ang sarap pala pag ganito. So we, the door was opened by the usherette, by the doorkeeper, and then we were ushered to our seats. And then when we were seated already, everybody was very quiet. Tapos ang napansin namin, dito sa Singapore, believe it or not, ha? and this is not only by a few, but by by many of them, uh, old, mga old, mga adults, mga young adults, <clears throat> Soon as they get into their pew, before they even come in, nagja-genoflect pa. No? Sabi ko, hindi ko na nakikita to sa Good Shepherd. Ah, no? Nagja-genoflect pa, very, very reverently, and then they go to their seats, and they are also quiet. Hindi sila nagkukwentuhan. Mm-hmm. No? Very quiet, very orderly. Sabi ko, ang sarap naman pala pagkaganito, ang pagpunta mo ng simbahan at pag mo ng misa. And I realized that these were the good old days sa atin. No? Sabi ko, bakit sa Singapore, uh, kadami-dami naman ng tao, na may maintain nila ito. Uh, pero sa atin, parang nawawala yung ganong reverence, yung ganong silence, etc. No? Anyway, uh, these are the things we're learning last Friday, yung huling topic natin, no? the church building. no? I mean, uh, sab- napag-usapan nga natin na uh, Uh, ngayon sa ating uh, shepherd's place, yung sa ating makeshift na, na chapel, uh, nandun yung ating original na tabernacle at saka original na altar. No? And then ang namimiss ko lang yung menorah, hindi pa lang parang missing na yung menorah, hindi ko na nakikita yung menorah. Eh, no? uh, it makes the sanctuary 
really holy and sacred. Ano ha? So tonight naman ngayon, we are leveling up again. We are moving on. This time we'll be talking about the processions, the signs and symbols, the sacramental signs, and then the purpose. So uh, for this uh, session ngayon, I'd like you to imagine, no? Uh, if you are going to Mass a Good Shepherd, pagkatapos ng ating uh, prayer to the Good Shepherd, and then the Mass presider is introduced, then we start with the entrance procession. Ayan. So sa maganda siguro yung tanong, Kuya Rene, kailangan pa bang may entrance procession? Hindi ba pwedeng misa na lang kaagad? Uh, that we will learn tonight. Okay? So again, uh, be ready with your pens and paper. And also with your Bible, if you will, so, so that you can take down notes. Uh, we will be having our uh, Q&A later on. And then, of course, our small group discussions. Okay? So let me now set up our video. Okay. Yeah, and ready na po tayo. Uh, we will now start our first episode on the processions, okay. One author says that a procession is an assembly on the move. So we have to understand the difference between assembly and gathering. A gathering can be a group of people in the same place at the same time, saying and singing and doing the same things. But that's very different from a group that's assembled and united in their purpose and in their destination. So when this assembly on the move arrives at its destination, that becomes the encounter with God. Here's how the church puts this together in the liturgy. Imagine this. This is true. There are four processions in the Mass. The first procession is the entrance procession, then the gospel procession, offertory procession, and finally the communion procession. Again, these are not pragmatic things but rather they're sacramental signs of that constant journey of the people of God deeper and deeper into the mystery of our salvation. So, when you're in church and you see the aisle, say to yourself, sacramental sign of procession. When you find yourself in procession, say to yourself, assembly on the move. In the assembly, on the move, say to yourself, my journey towards heaven. Okay. Yun, napakaik sila ng episode natin. Ano, ha? All right. Um, with that opening po ng ating episode for this evening, okay, um, whether you are going to Mass sa Good Shepherd Cathedral or some of you uh, who may not be from the Good Shepherd Parish, maybe coming from other parishes, uh, I would like to ask you to imagine uh, the Mass is about to, is about to start, all right? Uh, let me speak for the Good Shepherd. Hindi pa alam sa mga ibang parishes. Pero sa Good Shepherd, uh, after the prayer for the to the Good Shepherd, and then the entrance hymn is begun, then we have the entrance procession. No? My question is this. Okay. Uh, for those at the Good Shepherd parish, or even for those who are uh, from other parishes, no? Uh, what do you what do you observe or how would you describe the entrance procession uh, at the start of the mass? Uh, can anyone uh, start the the ball rolling? You can raise a hand. All right. Ang tanong natin uh, in your observation, 
how would you describe no, the entrance procession at the start of the Mass? Anybody? You may want to raise your hand virtually. Uh, kung naka-camera off kayo. Or if you have your camera on, you may want to raise your hand so we see you. Okay. Uh, paki, uh, pwedeng ipakiano na sa page 2. Ha? Page 1 lang nakikita namin sa monitor. Baka may nakataas na kamay sa page 2. Uh, wala pa rin. Okay, page one, page one. Anybody? Any observations you have on how you can describe? Oh, si Ate Marie Chris is in your hand. Kasunod po si Ate Nicole. Oh, Ate Marie Chris, ikaw muna. Tapos si Ate Nicole. Yes, good evening po. Naririnig po ako? Yes, yes dunin ka. Loud and clear, Ate Marie Chris. Hindi ko po alam kung tama po yung observation ko. Siguro po, ano, um, nag-start po yung procession, yung depende po dun sa yung people na yung in or, yung order niya po is from siguro yung from the yung least important to the important ano pero hindi ko sabi <laughs> ano hindi importante yung nasa unahan hindi lang po pero yun po parang ganun yung iniisip ko po ano niya order niya po yun po yung ano yun lang po okay so sinasabi ni Ate Mary Chris ay meron pa lang order yung procession tapos meron siyang side comment Hindi ko alam kung according to importance yung kanilang, kanilang order. Pag-usapan natin yung pamaya-maya, Ate Marie Chris. Thank you for the observation. Yeah, Ate Nicole, you were raising a hand a little earlier. Where's Ate Nicole? Baka na sa page 2. Um, okay. okay. During the entrance procession, um, everyone would stand up, tapos they would look back po. Tapos... <laughs> <laughs> tapos every time na madadaanan po nung please ni Father yung mga bata ibe-bless po sila tapos magbabaw <laughs> yung mga tao pag, namada, pag napadaan na po si Father sa, sa aisle nila magbabaw po sila ganun po okay right uh, that is somehow cultural at Nicole ano ha uh, that is how some priests would do it in some parishes no uh, pagka yung maghiliw yung yung pare magmimisa uh, he would take time no uh, touching and blessing children no and the other parents someone would let their children get into the aisle no para bumati kay father uh, at magpa-bless okay that's another observation i think you at Nicole uh, any more observations Ako, observation. Oh, si Baby daw pagkatapos. Si, si, si oh, Gabs muna. Oh, si Ate Gabs muna, tapos si Ate Connie. Oh, si Gabs, then Ate Connie. Naririnig po ba ako? Loud and clear. Yeah, and thank you po. No? Ang na-observe ko po, Tito Rene, sa, lalo na sa church setting ng procession, may cross po sa pinaka-start, and then may acolytes na may nagkikerry ng candles. Then followed by acolytes na mga nagbebel. Okay. And then the first read, yung lector po na may hawak ng lectionary. Okay. And then the second reader, then yung mga... And then last po yung, yung priest. Okay. Yung magpapreside ng mass. Ayun po. Okay. Wow. Okay. And sharing. <laughs> Thanks, Ate Gabs. Mukhang uh, nakakatuwa naman yung mga sharers natin. Mukhang pa-detail na pa-detail na mga sharers. <laughs> ano, na, Nahihimay na gusto ngayon yung ating topic. Oh, Ate Corny, ikaw naman, Ate Corny, anong observation mo? Ate Corny, nakamute ka pa. Naka, nakamute pa kayo, Ate Corny. Ate Corny, nakamute. Okay. Thank you pa. <laughs> Ano po, ang observation ko is the mass presider, the priest, is always the last to, to have his entrance in the procession po. Yun lamang po. Okay, thank you, Ate Connie. Thank you. Yeah, yeah Ate Dang, your turn. Pakianmit lang, Ate Dang. Good evening sa lahat. Ang, ako na-observe ko, pangkalatan na, uh, from the back nyo pag pasok uh it's it's uh it's a journey towards towards heaven <laughs> kasi oh. pagpasok pa lang uh pagpasok pa lang sa hintuan diba sinasabi nung ating 
previous uh, session na uh, pag nag-attend ka ng mass is, uh, is a foretaste of heaven. No, it's a solemn, solemn journey uh, uh, towards heaven. <laughs> Yun lang. Okay. Uh, thank you, Ati Dang. Thank you, Ati Dang. Okay. Uh, any more observations? Okay. So it appears like not anymore. Uh, alam nyo, very providential. We have uh, Kuya Dinky with us. Ano, ha? Uh, Kuya Dinky has been our coordinator for the worship ministry uh, until recently. All right. But for a while, she nag ng mga uh, ministries under the worship cluster. And he happens to be uh, so passionate about the liturgy. Kuya Dinky, uh, anything else you can add about the procession, especially the entrance procession during the Mass? Kuya Dinky? Ah, thank you. Po. Uh, like I said, po yung last week, po, uh, mentioned ko na po siya briefly. Um, parang the entrance procession is patterned dun sa Roman Senate, no? our way of entrance. So, parang very short description of it is our processions are very Roman in a sense. Pero, di ba sabi ko nga po last week, we argue that processions does, does not just start doon sa nakikita natin sa mass, but it starts from our homes. Kaya nga, di ba maraming sinabing types of procession. Pero kami, we say na we argue that the entrance procession starts from your home. So, umbaga, once the congregation is gathered, uh, we evidently see the aisle parang as our way to uh, up, up, our pilgrimage towards God. No, we are pilgrims journeying towards God uh, as uh, exiles. Diba? Kaya nga sabi ko, may sinata ko last week, diba? may line sa rosary natin, poor banished children of Eve. I think may mention yun sa Bible in the Virgin Mary. So sa mga hindi nakatin, I don't want to mention it further. <laughs> Lang po. <laughs> okay, Kuya Dinky, kanina may nagbanggit, sabi ni Ate Marie Chris, uh, Kuya Rene, hindi pala kung tama o mali, pero parang parang may order kayo sa... Order of importance. <laughs> sa, sa procession. Order of importance. May order of importance ba? No? Uh, andun yung acolytes, andun yung lectors, andun yung EMAC, tapos yung pare. Uh, Kuya Dinky, baka gusto mong enlighten ng konting mga participants natin. Uh, may premise naman po, pero think about it this way. Parang sa chess, the pawns go first. <laughs> diba? the chess, in chess, the pawns go first. So, I don't know. But if you think of it, yung pawns, at the end of the day, they're one of the most important parts sa chess. Yes. Play chess all the time. Alam nyo kung gano'n ka-importante yung chess yun. So, it highlights na gano'n man sa atin, tingin natin kalit yung parte nila sa misa, whether mag, mag, sa server's plate lang sila, mag assist lang pero I think that's very crucial. So parang, in a way, no matter, it highlights how, how least of our contributions are, we are still, we are still important as pilgrims, no? journeying together. Ganun. Very true. Yeah. Uh, in fact, that is the amazing and amusing part of our episode for tonight. Ano, ha? <clears throat> you know, uh, I still recall uh, our late uh, Father Mar, before he became our parish priest, uh, when we used to have celebrations in the cathedral, and if and when he was the liturgist, napakahigpit niya ni, eh, no? During the practice and rehearsals, napakahigpit, no? Uh, to the minutest detail, talagang uh, talagang inaayos ni uh, uh, Father Mar ang procession especially. And then believe it or not, yung mga acolytes, ina-advise pa yan pagka nag-procession, they are in cadence, no? A parang sa, sa military yung left, right, left, right. And then mapapansin ninyo, yan, ngingiti-ngiti si Faya, no ha? Mapapansin din ninyo, pagka nagpo-procession, walang nagmamadali. Alright? Nakakadence yan. Talagang dinumero, no? Nakabilang yung mga steps, no? Uh, kagaya sabi kanina ni Father Douglas, in the procession sabi niya nun, it is an assembly. Hindi lang siya gathering. And when we say assembly, all right, uh, I would like to use as an analogy yung relo. No? Uh, yung relo, pag binuksan mo, iba-ibang mga gears ang nandyan. And since they are 
perfectly assembled para synchronize sila. Walang pwedeng magmadali, no? Kanya-kanyang cadence talaga and they have to do it properly and well. And why is that? Sabi nga ni Dinky, when we take a look at the procession at the entrance at the entrance procession, it somehow signifies, no? Our pilgrim journey on our way to heaven. All right? So siguro naman pagpapuntang tayo ng langit, walang nagmamadali. Ano ha? Walang naguunahan sa pila. <laughs> Every, everyone will be taking their time, no? Uh, enjoying the bliss and the glory of heaven on the way pa lang. Uh, nag enjoy na. So ang ganda na sinabi, no? Uh, heaven does not stop uh, at the point of destination or at the point of destination. Ang, ang gusto ko yung ginawang uh, example example ni ati ni Kuya Dinky when he said actually yung procession galing ka pala sa bahay nagpo-procession na you know you guys you're, you're missing a whole lot no uh, in my case I grew up in a barrio and in the barrio uh, walang masyadong sasakyan no uh, at sa barrio namin may mga kalabaw pa at saka mga kalabaw mga karabaw carts pero you know what is so amusing na to see during Sunday mornings kasi isa lang ang misa sa baryo no Sunday mornings makita mo yung mga tao naglalakad lahat sa kalsada in their Sunday in their Sunday best to go to church no may advantage yung wala sa sakyan eh no makita mo siya naglalakad no sinabi ni Kuya Dinky na the procession starts by the time you leave home totoo nga naman no yun nga lang nga, hindi natin nawi-witness kasi kanya-kanyang kanya-kanyang puntahan na eh, no? Pero I recall in our barrio, lalo na yung mga matatanda, no, naka, yung mga nakapatadyong pa, no? naka, nakabelo pa. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about. I may sound uh, antique or Jurassic. Pero uh, ah, <laughs> si Pai, tawa ng tawa si Pai. Ikaw ha? Lagot ka sa akin pag-uwi ko dyan. <laughs> Pinagtatabaran mo lolo rin niya mo ha. <laughs> But you're missing a whole lot, no? You're missing a whole lot, no? Yung yung times namin na naka yung mga babae talaga mga nakadamit talaga, no? And then uh, na nakabelo, na, na oh yung damit nga ngayon, hindi pa lang po ng klase ng damit yun. Eh. Buti wala ngayon dito si Ian. Kung nandito si Ian, sa sabi indirecto ni Ian, yun na observe ba niya sa misa? Nakaka iskandalo. Wag na yun, wag na yun. But anyway, ganon ka halaga yung procession, no? We think you thank you for stressing the fact that the procession starts from our home, hindi lang from the door of the church. I think that's very significant. And why is that? Because while the procession starts from our home, it will eventually end up in heaven, which is our real home. Tama ba kung dinki? There. Okay. Diyan na ka. Di mo na sa ano pantay na sa entrance procession palang tayo. Now we move a little bit more, a little bit further and deeper, and let us now appreciate our mass even more. Okay, so we go back to our to our uh, vignette. Catholic Mass is full of signs and symbols. So you might ask, where do these signs come from? Where do they get their meaning? Well, the answer is given to us in a passage in the Catechism of the Catholic Church. A sacramental celebration is woven from signs and symbols. In keeping with the divine pedagogy of salvation, their meaning is rooted in the work of creation and in human culture 
specified by the events of the Old Covenant and fully revealed in the person and work of Christ. When we want to understand the signs and symbols in the Catholic Mass, we need to look at these different places. We need to look at creation mm. and human culture, the Old Testament, and in the work and ministry of Christ. Well, first of all, we've got to acknowledge that the signs and symbols in the Mass are things that are perceptible. We see them, we hear them, we smell them, we taste them, we touch them. God is the one that has created those signs and symbols. So every created thing has in it the impression of God. Pope Clement I says that if we look around us, nature tells us constantly about the resurrection. Consider, beloved, how the Lord keeps reminding us of the resurrection that is to come. Let us look, beloved, at the resurrection that occurs at its appointed time, day and night. Show us a resurrection. The night lies in sleep. Day rises again. The day departs. Night takes its place. So that's the first category. In creation itself, we can understand what the sacramental signs mean. You see, these natural events for us yield a visible manifestation of the power and working of God. The second category comes to us from human culture. What are the naturally human things that we do? Things like the washing, washing of hands, washing of our bodies, the anointing of our skin with creams and ointments. Well, these have visible meaning for us that the church brings into her liturgical celebration. Even the way we use our language makes a difference in human culture. You might speak to your children one way, but to your employer a different way. These things come to us naturally and they grow out of human culture. The third place from which we get meaning for the sacramental signs is the events of the Old Covenant or the Old Testament. The scripture narrates for us things like the crossing of the Red Sea, the freeing of Israel from slavery, the Ark of Noah, the preaching of the prophets, the blessing of children, all of these things are woven into the church's sacramental expression. And finally, the church tells us that we get sacramental meaning from the life and work of Christ. And in fact, the church goes so far as to say that all of the meaning from creation, from human culture, and from the Old Testament are brought together in, in Christ because in the end, He Himself is the meaning of all of these signs and symbols. Here's what the Catholic Church says about the importance of Christ. In his preaching, the Lord Jesus often makes use of the signs of creation to make known the mysteries of the kingdom of God. He performs healings and illustrates his preaching with physical signs or symbolic gestures. He gives new meaning to the deeds and signs of the Old Covenant, above all to the Exodus and the Passover, for he himself is the meaning of all these signs. When we want to understand the sacramental signs and symbols that are woven together in the Catholic Mass, the first thing we should remember is that there is nothing there by chance, that everything in the liturgy has meaning, and the meaning of these signs and symbols come to us first of all from creation and from human culture. They find their meaning in the stories of the Old Testament, and they're brought together and given their full meaning in the person and the work of Christ. Okay, uh, sorry for me taking a few seconds para iku-cue ko na kagad for the next session, ano ha? Kasi for episodes in a row, eh, ano ha? Yon, signs and symbols. Yan, so uh, uh, would you have any insights 
that you would like to share or perhaps even question no? uh, signs and symbols. No? Uh, siguro isegway natin sa procession pa lang. Uh, ano kaya yung sign at saka symbol? but na nauna yung mga acolytes? Tapos yung acolytes, sabi nga kanina, uh, sino ba nagsabi? Yung unang-unang acolyte, yung cross bearer, no? Uh, siya yung middle ng crucifix. Sisis Gabs. O Sisis Gabs. Tapos sabi niya, followed by two more acolytes this time, ang hawak naman nila yung mga candle, anong, anong tawag doon, Kuya Dinky? Candle, yung candle bearers natin, ano ha? Ayun. Tsaka mapapansin nyo, yung cross bearer, walang ka-partner. Nauna siya mag-isa. Pero yung candle bearers, magka-partner sila, tandem. Yan, dalawa sila ng dalawa. No? Uh, among others. no And then, oh, bakit sa procession? Anong sinisimbolize ka kaya, kaya nung le- yung lectionary, for example? no At saka the way it is being carried. Ano kaya ang kahulugan nun? Di ba? Kasi uh, pag nasa likod kayo, no, makita nyo yung uh, commentator or yung, yeah, yung commentator o may hawak ng uh, ng lectionary hindi alam kasi mabigat yun eh na sa good shepherd hindi alam kung paano dadalhin <laughs> okay buti na lang hindi iniipit sa kilikili ano ha <laughs> na nakaris why kasi again may symbol na naman yung bawat yung bawat ayun no so in the same manner if you will only be very keen this time sana Uh, on Sunday, ano ngayon, Friday tayo ngayon, ano, on Sunday when you go to Mass, try to observe the church, try to observe the Mass goers, try to observe the presider, uh, the, the acolytes, the uh, the lectors, commentators, and even the EMH, pati yung mga Mother Butler's Guild, at saka yung uh, <laughs> Ministry on the Seat uh, of, of Gifts, no? kindly observe them. Ano kaya ang sinisimbolize nila? Ano kaya yung mga signs? Okay? Yan. O sige, baka meron na gustong baka may tanong kayo. O. Signs and symbols uh, during the Mass. Yan. Feel free to raise a hand po. Uh, if you are naka-off screen virtually, uh, kung naka-camera naka on kayo, you may want to raise a hand so we can see you. Anybody would like to share? Oh, Ati Marie Chris, are you raising a hand? Si Ati, Ati Marie Chris. Mm-hmm. Paki-admit mo na Ati Marie Chris. Nakabit ka pa. Mag-ask lang po. Okay. Uh, in- inquire ko lang po. Um, okay lang po ba na kung malilate po sa mas tapos uulitin, hintayin po yung anak para mag-overlap. <laughs> inquire ko lang po. <laughs> <laughs> Ano ko lang po. <laughs> Ihintay mo yung next showing, ano ha? At kung sa Good Shepherd ganyan, ano ha? Uh, mula nung nag, nag-renovate tayo ng simbahan, nag-iba na yung schedule lang misa. Sa Good Shepherd ngayon, every hour on the hour. Kaya yung sinasabi ni Ate Marie Chris, parang, parang mas practical ngayon ha? Kasi yung kasunod, konti na lang hintay mo, susunod na lang yung misa. O halimbawa, Kuya Rene, All right, alas 9 schedule mo, dumating ka 9:10. All right? So tapos na yung entrance sim, tapos na yung uh, confiteor. All right? Uh, pasimula na for example sa liturgy of the word. Ah, kuya Rene, pwede ba? Kunyari, na mismo yung first reading, ang inabot mo second reading na lang. Pwede ba magsimba ka uli ng 10 o'clock? Pero hanggang doon ka lang sa first reading. <laughs> Kasi na, nabasa mo na yun eh. No? <laughs> no, I, I would like to answer that right now, but I, I'll serve it for later. Think about it. Ano, ha? Pwede, ba, pwede ka kakakad ba kaya yan? Para kang nanood na sine. Yung hindi mo inabutan, balikan mo para makaabutan mo. Para makompleto mo yung pelikula. No? Uh, is, that, is that how we should go? in the celebration of the holy mass no or or even better still the first question would would be is it okay to be late for the mass di ba uh, tama ba na mamali ma- tayo pati sa misa yan at si Marcris balikan natin yung tanong mamamaya ha pero oh. mag-comment po ako sir uh, kuya Rene um yes. parang 
para lang po to compensate po yung late, at least po, uh, uh, laka, ano naman po, hinintay po yung sumunod na ano. Yun lang po, para mabawasan yung kasalanan kung ano po talaga. Yun lang po. Though, right. alam naman po talaga na, mas maganda talaga na umpisahan. Yun lang po. Thank you po. <laughs> Thank you, Ati Mary Chris. Kasi, oh, kasi nasanay tayo ngayon, maraming misa eh, no? Uh, paano kayo mga lugar na iisa, yung, isa lang yung visa? Okay. Alright. Uh, Ati Mitch, uh, si Mitch, uh, Ati Mitch o si Bro JC ang nag-raise ng hand? Uh, si Bro JC. Bro JC. Okay. Ako pa, Tito Rene, Tito Baby. More on appreciation po. Okay. Um, I'm not sure po kung natatandaan nyo na um, I, I, I have an aspiration na meron sa ano talagang discussion about the signs and symbols, the meaning of the Catholic Mass. Ito nga po, very timely na meron tayong um, course about the elements of the Catholic Mass. <laughs> And siguro, Tito Rene, oh, po, answered prayer po, definitely. Thank you, Lord. Po. Um, <laughs> siguro po, ma, ma, ma-reach natin yung solemnity level ng churches sa Singapore kung mas marami pong ganitong sessions. Kasi imagine po, upon hearing the Father kanina, nakibot ako po yung pangalan, para siya, uh, sabi niya, Uh, nothing is by chance. So lahat ng signs and symbols, he mentioned about creation, human culture, yung mga happenings from the old covenant, then yung work and ministry ni Christ. For a parishioner or a churchgoer to understand the exact meaning of these things na nakikita niya during the, the Holy Eucharist celebration po, siguro po um, lahat ng churches natin magiging katulad na ng Singapore na pagpasok sa church, it's, it's not a theater, it's not an auditorium, it's not even a show or a performance, it's Christ that we're celebrating. And may mga symbolism po or may mga meaning yung mga signs na nakikita natin. Yung cup, hindi lang siya basta cup. Yung cross, hindi lang siya basta cross. And another thing po, kung naintindihan na natin lahat yon we will act and behave properly or accordingly po. So yun po. Eh kami po, ayun po ang effect sa amin lalo ngayon. Matagal na naman po kaming churchgoers pero may iba pa pong level of appreciation. And excited po kami sa mga next episode. Tama na na. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, that's right. Yes. Like, like for example, no, di ba? Uh, we see a bread. Di ba? It's a wafer. All right. But what is it really? Uh, we see a cup of wine. It's a drink. But why is it, what is it, what is it really, no? I mean, uh, these are, shall we say, very, very significant signs and symbols that we have in the Holy Mass. And tama ka, bro, JC, no? Uh, sana if everyone who really goes to attend the Mass and celebrate fully understands, no? Uh, anything and everything that we see and that uh, we, we observe going on, the celebration of the Mass will really be very different, no? Uh, ibang-iba talaga. Yun. Ate uh, Michelle din po, may share to. Go. Ako rin daw po. <laughs> Hello okay. po, maganda gabi po sa sa inyong lahat na volunturo na po ako ng asawa ko. Pero kanina nga po, while we are uh, watching the videos, may mga small discussions po kami about it. And um, kung appreciation po yung na-share ng aking asawa, ako naman po, uh, reflection. <laughs> so okay. while I was watching the videos, Uh, binabalikan ko how uh, kung paano ba ako bago ako pumunta sa simbahan uh, habang nasa simbahan na ako bago magsimula yung yung procession so medyo guilty po ako dun sa mga <laughs> sa mga narinig ko uh, tito Rene kanina na sharing yon na alam niyo yon especially po sa community that we are in uh, part po kami ng Light of Jesus family so Marami pong uh, marami pang nangyayaring chit chats, little chit chats. Kahit nandiyan na si Father. <laughs> Andun na siya sa may unahan at magsisimula na talaga yung procession. Titigil lang po talaga pag nagsimula na yung commentator. And not only that, binabalikan ko rin po yung mga instances na of service naman ako kasi nagsiserve po ako sa music ministry. Ano pang ginagawa ko habang naghihintay kami uh, sa pagsisimula ng ano ng ng Misa. After ko pong mag-reflect at mag-guilty, uh, thankful na rin po ako and uh, rather appreciative na meron po ako ngayong opportunity to make things right. Na hindi lang kasi pala basta-basta yung Misa, gusto kong, gusto kong mabasa tayong ni-note natin. <laughs> to be exact, ito po, 
uh, he himself is the meaning of all this sign. So, puno puspus po tayo ng Holy Spirit, Spirit at talagang andun po ang Panginoon at si Jesus Christ sa atin, with us, every time na mag-aaten tayo ng Mas. So, so, ayun po. Ito pa yung last. Yung nothing by chance, everything in the liturgy has been. So we uh ang realization ko po is in every sense of the word we need to respect that. Amen. End of sharing na po ako. Thank you so much. <laughs> well, thanks sis Mitch, you know, a very insightful uh, sharing and observation there. Uh, nakaka uh, nakakatuwa kasi ikaw na sa music ministry ka, si Bro JC na sa uh, Ministry of Holy Communion, di ba? Uh, siguro you are even more challenged, no? With your respective ministry, because the other thing is this: no, uh, what should you be doing to enhance the mass further when the holy mass is being celebrated in the movie house? All right, it's not celebrated in the church. As our uh, feast gatherings, the mass is celebrated in a movie house. So the more, di ba? Uh, how can we make it sacred and blessed uh, when the venue in itself, no? Uh, is far from what is the real ideal. Okay? Thanks a lot, uh, Bro JC, Sis Mitch. Okay, thanks for your sharings. Okay, any more? Would like to follow suit? Questions or insights? Comments. Comments, if you will, or suggestions, if you can. <laughs> All right. Uh, if if there are none, okay, uh, ito, straight to the point na ako. I would like to request Kuya Dinky for some interjections Uh, regarding the signs and symbols no uh, of the uh, of the that we are now encountering in the mass we think would you want to enlighten us further on these signs and symbols uh, on this uh, uh sixth episode that we have for uh, fifth episode right thank you po kuya rene actually si ma michelle um, should not worry about dun sa mga nag-uusap sila before the mass no kasi may mga participants tayo na altar servers no mas matindi pa kasi eh, kasi alam nila kung saan nakaupo yung mga magaganda sa sa views. <laughs> kung saan EMAC sila matatapat. Ba, nag-off camera si Faye, oh. Oh, Faye, ba't ka nag-off camera? <laughs> Wala ko dito din, eh. <laughs> Yun yung active participation nila sa mass, di ba? <laughs> uh, actually po, prior to this point, I chatted ko yan rin. Sabi ko, I think bitin ako dun sa signs and symbols na topic. So I'd like to interject yung i-add lang po yung mga something po no kasi yung signs what are the signs no for example um you are watching a sport for example a basketball game po no um lahat tayo naka-casual dress so wala tayong indication kung which team we support but for example if you watch college basketball um kung naka-blue sila yeah. Ateneo di ba so may indication ka po na which team you sinusuportahan nila kung lasa Ikaw ba nagbo-blue ka pagka merong college basketball? Nag Do you wear blue? <laughs> never po, never. Not a single blue color <laughs> during basketball games. Uh, green. green. Yeah. You know, I, ano, very, very ritual, ritualistic din po ako. No? One time, I pay pinara akong taxi noon. Uh, Naka-blue siya. Hindi eh. ako nanood. Hindi ako sabakay. Eh. Sabi ko, usog na lang po. Sabi ko naman. Very, very ritualistic ako ng pag-play games. Eh, no? uh, pero, ganun po yung signs. Um, for example, uh, if you see a, a female person wearing a wedding dress, marching the aisle, alam mo ikakasal siya. Pero kung nakita mong suot niya yun the following day at work, alam mo sira ulo siya, di ba? Kasi, <laughs> she wear a wedding, a wedding dress, no? So in the mass, um, signs are parang like for the Sunday, what color the priest will be wearing. It indicates this is the ordinary time, this season is the season of Lent, Advent, Christmas, and so on. Um, so yun yung mga signs yung symbols naman uh, on the other hand parang it manifest it is a manifestation of what it intends to show no for example kasi uh, the word symbol comes from the word sin meaning uh, together tapos at eight o'clock tapos balaya meaning um, to launch kaya dyan dun galing yung word na ballistic eh, di ba parang In such a way, there are two things put together. They're thrown in together in such a way that they become inseparable. No? Um, it is, uh, parang, op ang opposite na is parang diabolia, from the word diabolic, which is intended to separate things. No? So yun yung etymology ng word. So yun yung importance ng symbols. Um, sa symbols, for example, if you see the golden arches, 
it has nothing to do with burgers pero pag nakakita kayo <laughs> alam niyo nang kakanan kayo kasi McDonald's shop sa mga burger so yun yung effect ng symbols it mani- it is a manifestation of what is it what in- what it in- intends to show no um na kanina na word na mention yung word na pedagogy actually shock na ako na walang nagtatanong sa inyo about ano yung ibig sabihin ng pedagogy you know? kasi ped yeah. means uh, a boy or a child tapos agogo meaning teacher so parang the te- the church teaches us like a child to lead us to the you know, to the divine to the pascal mystery so yun yung word na yun yung meaning ng pedagogy talaga uh, actually i was si Nico, binigyan ko siya ng libro on signs and symbols ni Odo Castle. I don't know if he's finished already with that, no? But... Not yet pa po. <laughs> but the, the purpose of this is kaya tayo nagkakaroon ng signs and symbols sa mass. They are important to us because they are manifestations of God to us. So kaya importante yun sa, sa liturgy. Everything has something to do with Christ, whether it is the sacrament, so baptism and everything. So think about it this way. May, de, meron siyang, last na lang to para hindi tayo mag-exad sa topic. No? There are about a hundred sim- signs and symbols sa isang minsa. No? We will extract one. Extract natin uh, water. Try natin, extract natin water. No? What does water symbolize? Una, it symbolizes life. No? Kasi everything that is living um, has a, needs water trees, tayo people. Second, it pag too much water naman, pwede tayo malunod. So we can also die. So may meaning din yung water on that. Um, another is um, refreshment. So pwede tayong uminom ng water uh, pag pagod tayo or pag sobrang pagod tayo sa work, diba? all we want is a nice hot shower, di ba? So yun lang ang gusto natin. Um, ano pa ba? Ang man- ang man- um, also purification, di ba? Kagaya ni ni Kuya JC tsaka ni Tito rin eh. They are EMHs, no? Sinasabi nila sa Misha, wash away my iniquities and cleanse me from my sins. Purification. So yun yung purpose ng water. We do this not because hindi naman tayo dahil, ginagawa natin ito dahil theologians tayo or liturgists tayo, but we do this because we are human. So doon pumapasok yung human dimension. So teka, kung um, dito kami nagtatagal ni Father Mar, siguro three hours kami magkukento na about liturgy na. Teka, kung human uh, aspect pala yun, isipin nyo na lang, paano pag nilagay yung water sa chalice? So it symbolizes our humanity um, intertwined with God's divinity. So parang sa akin, very touching yun sa Misa. No? Tignan man lalim ng symbolism, nag-start lang tayo sa water. Pero once na nilagay siya sa chalice, it is a union of our humanity and the divinity of God by that very gesture. Sa akin, very touching yung part na yun eh. Di ba? So, yeah. yung correlation nung symbolism about us being human, being uh, reunited or bridged towards God, parang ganun. So, yun yung importance ng mga signs and symbols sa Misa. That is just one example of many. <laughs> yes, yes, exactly. Uh, can you imagine if we will go deeper than that? no I mean, like for example, in the mixing of the water and wine, yung wine kung hanggang sa gusto ng pare, no? Dubusan ng wine yung, ch- yung chalice. Pero pagka nag-pour ng water, konti lang. Da- dati may meron kami ko charitang ginagamit eh. Before ha, there's a very very small piece pa na ginagamit for the water para pag dinrap mo, isang drop lang ng water ang inahalo sa wine. E eh, ngayon wala nang kutsarita eh, no? Tinatantsyan na lang ng pare kaya siya napaparami. Can you imagine if we will go that far, no? Uh, how come the wine is much more tapos yung water, water. isang drop lang all right so these are the signs and symbols in the mass that we would want to appreciate no and we're so blessed that kuya dinki is here uh kuya dinki has been immersed uh in this uh shall we say uh how and wala akong makuwang tamang adjective eh, no in this ministry na talagang ang lalim ng kanyang appreciation about the liturgy. Okay? All right. So we carry on? Huh? Move on. O sabi ng wife ko, move on na raw. Eh kasi masok ko lang oh. na tayo ng oras. Ayun, kinakabahan siya, baka na ko lang ng oras. Okay. So we move on to the third episode uh, for our uh, series uh, for today. Okay, let me just share screen again.
Yeah, we're now going on the sacramental signs. Yeah. Three minutes lang mo. I suppose everyone pretty much knows the definition of a sacrament. What is a sacrament? A sacrament is an outward sign instituted by Christ to give grace. Or as the Catechism of the Catholic Church says, the sacraments are efficacious signs of grace instituted by Christ and entrusted to the Church by which divine life is dispensed to us. In any case, a sacrament has these two parts, something that is perceptible, something we can see or smell or touch or taste or hear. And then after the perceptible part, there is the invisible or hidden reality, which in the end is the grace of God. So when we look at a sacramental experience, we should consider these two things. Now, the experience of the sacraments are a very natural human thing. We do this all of the time without really realizing it. For example, if I were to say to you, golden arches, it immediately, at least to an American population, brings to mind the notion of the restaurant McDonald's. I didn't have to explain anything. I simply had to give the sign, golden arches, and your mind went to McDonald's or to French fries or to a sausage biscuit with egg. So in this example of McDonald's, golden arches is the visible sign of the reality that you can't see at this moment of french fries. It works the same way in the sacramental experience. In baptism, we use water. Water is a sacramental sign, which means cleansing and washing and purifying. This is the way the sacraments are supposed to work. You see water, you think baptism, or the waters of creation, or the waters of the great flood, or the water of the Red Sea, or the water of the Jordan, or the water and blood flowing from the side of Christ. You see a candle, and you think light, and you think that Christ is the light of the world, or you think the column of fire that led the Israelites through the desert. You see oil, and you think healing, or strengthening, or preserving. You see the smoke of incense and you think prayers rising to heaven. You hear the crackle of the charcoal and you remind yourselves that God tells us we are to be purified in the refiner's fire. So try this at Mass. See bread and think to yourself the body of Christ. Drink from the chalice and taste the precious blood of the Lord. Acknowledge what you perceive and ask yourself, what does it mean? What is the sacramental sign? Where is the sacramental grace? There. Very interesting, ano, huh? <laughs> uh, palalim ng palalim, di ba? Right now, we're talking about the uh, sacramental signs, no? Um, I'm glad that Father Douglas uh, reiterated, no? Uh, the definition that I still remember way back in in elementary, no? So, at that time, tawag namin Baltimore Catechism, no? You're asked to define what a sacrament is, no? Again, sabi nga ni Father Douglas Kanina, a sacrament is an external sign 
instituted by 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 Christ to give grace. No, now we're having sacramental signs also in the in the Holy Mass. No, uh, say for example, uh, even the Holy Eucharist itself, the right? your liturgy of the Eucharist uh, is a sign or sacramental sign uh, that has been quote unquote uh, a point of controversy, no. Uh, especially to our non-Catholic brethren. Okay, uh, how about coming from your end? Would you have a question? Would you have some comments or insights that you would like to share regarding the sacramental signs in the Holy Mass? Yeah, feel free to raise a hand. Ask a question, okay? Yeah, if you will, or make a comment if you if you would like to. We're open. Yeah, Sige. Uh, we have Bro Edric. Bro Edric raising a hand. Yeah, another EMHC. <laughs> Good evening, Pop. Good evening, Bro Edric. Yeah, um, one time, siguro that uh, um, interests me <laughs> is the uh, intense, the smoke from the intense. Actually, it uh, it uh, irritates me kasi po medyo allergic ako sa smoke. Pag naaamoy ko yung smoke, uh, Ah, uh, yan na uh, nababahinga ko <laughs> lalo na pag commentator ako or lecturer. <laughs> but uh, uh aside from being EMH. So um pero uh, with the ano with the explanation po kanina na lahat daw tayo will, should go through fire and uh at smoke uh, at the smoke goes to heaven. Parang yun yung Ah, uh, yun yung ating cleansing or if I'm not mistaken, parang yun yung ating uh, uh, liberation na we've gone through fire and we and, the, and thus we will go to heaven after. So with that, ano, with that time, with that meaning of the in the smoke from the incense, um, parang hindi na hindi ko na inindahin <laughs> yung yung ah uh, the the smell of the smoke, but rather, what do you meaning nun when uh when it is done sa uh, during the mass? So yun po ah, uh, I know I have heard before na ano yun na while we are praying, kaya rin may incense such that the prayers natin will uh will also come up, go up to God, go up to the heavens and as the smoke rises. Right? So. Um, yun naman po yung ano, importance na nakita ko doon. It's such that talagang <laughs> when I smell the smoke, medyo ano po, medyo yeah. uh, naka-irritating sa mood po. And the yeah. Po. yeah, that's highly understandable, bro, Edric, no? In fact, uh, I think uh, it's not only you who's kind of sensitive to the scent of the burning incense, no? Uh, marami talaga ang hindi nakaka-take doon. Uh, but before I go any further, I would like to ask muna si Miko uh, after Miko si Ate Marisa. Miko, your turn muna tapos si Ate Marisa comes next. Paki-admit muna, Miko. Hello po. Uh, am I audible po ba? Yep. Yes. Loud and clear. Loud and clear. Okay. Sorry po, I cannot open my camera since I'm on my way home pa po from school. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, okay. Uh, just just an insight lang po no no simula po nung na nalaman ko po yung yung ano yung gift of sacramental grace doon ko na, doon nagchange yung perspective ko na the sacramental grace is a gift wherein we have the ability to discover the real meaning of the signs and symbols that we have in the different parts in the liturgy yeah um marami po kasi ng tao na we disregard they disregard in general these signs and symbols and being being thrown down to mere practicality. Yeah. Na, hindi na, natin, na we belittle these signs and symbols kasi ito yung mas simple. Ito yung mas, ito yung mas kailangan. Well, yeah. it turns out po kasi na the liturgy is shot through with signs and symbols so that we could, it would be, so that our since uh first of all po muna no the liturgy's goal is for god's glorification and for the church's sanctification and yeah. isa po sa ways ng liturgy to sanctify the people is to fill them with the senses the senses yeah. of sight yeah. taste and 
the the ability to hear and etc. po. Yun lang po. <laughs> wow. Uh, thank you very much, Kuya Nico. Uh, tingnan nyo, kahit na on the way lang si Kuya Nico, naka, talaga naka-hook up pa rin. Uh, thanks, Kuya Nico, for your commitment. Uh, Kuya Nico is now heading the Pax Romana group in the in UST. No? I mean, uh, one of the most prestigious and long-standing uh, religious groups in UST. Uh, thank you for the insight, uh, Kuya Nico. No? Very, very helpful. Very helpful. Uh, Ati Marisa, you were raising a hand a little earlier. Ate Marisa, where is you? Yes po, Kuya. Hindi, na, ano lang po ako, natuwa lang ako. Kasi parang kung babalikan ko nga yung, yung sacraments, may seven sacraments, pinag-aaralan niya nung sabi niyo nga po, elementary. Yeah. Uh, medyo, I got getting this water, nililinis tayo, binibinyagan tayo. Pero doon ako natuwa, doon sa may, yung nilalagay na tubig na sama nung nung alak, eh, ni mini pala. Di ba yung sinabi ni Kuya Dinky kanina na yes. uh, unity yes. of humanity? Parang And ganun. So, ang galing. Kaya, more pa Kuya Dinky. <laughs> yes. Yun yes. po, thank you po sa um, marami pa pong kaalaman. You're welcome. Thank you po. Yun lang po. Uh, ang ganda rin nung gusto ko lang balik yung sabi ni Kuya ni kanina, parang nowadays na no eh, parang hindi na masyadong napupuna ang kahalagaan ng mga nakikita natin mga sacramental signs no para ma matumaas pa yung value lalo yung mga ginagawa natin sa Santa Misa. Okay. Ate Nicole, uh, Ate Nicole is raising a hand. Ate Nicole, please come in and mute yourself. Hi dito na. Um I have a question lang po um regarding po sa sign of the cross kasi di ba po it seems very important to us we start the mass with the sign of the cross we end it with the sign of the cross when we pray we do the sign of the cross and pag mag mag start po tayo ng prayer mag end ng prayer sign of the cross and it is what differentiates or distinguishes us from other religion na di ba po pag magpe-pray po pag hindi nag-sign of the cross, iba yung religion. Pag nag-sign of the cross, Catholic. So ano po ba yung deeper meaning nun? Bakit po yung sign of the cross, ano po yung deeper meaning behind that? Thank you po. Well, basically, uh, Ate Nicole, uh, the deeper meaning of that is that uh, Catholics are predominantly Trinitarian. no? Uh, like when we, uh, when we profess our faith, we always go for the Holy Trinity. Now that's very, very distinct among Catholics. So in that regard, the deeper meaning is that anytime that we begin or we end a, a prayer, we always end it up with the sign of the cross, signifying that we are highly Trinitarian Christians, which make us distinct and different from the others. Diba? Kasi yung iba, oh, si Jesus lang okay na. All right? We'll just, let's just go straight to Jesus. After all, nakalagay, sabi nga nun, uh, only Jesus saves eh. Yan, yung mga ganong pilosopo ba ng iba? But among us uh, Catholic Christians, all right, uh, we are predominantly Trinitarian Christians, meaning, yes, of course, uh, we acknowledge Jesus as our Redeemer, but it goes without saying, we always start with the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And that makes us very distinct and unique. Ayan, Ate Nicole. Uh, marami pa yun. Marami pa yun. But uh, for... Uh, for your question, I think that, that that might suffice for now, Ate Nicole. Ate Bella is raising her hand. Oh, at, thank you, Ate Nicole. Ate Bella, you're raising a hand and then followed by Ate Dang. And Sis Yoli. And Ate Yoli. Okay. Uh, Ate yes, Bella. good evening po. Good evening. Uh, uh, Ate Bella. Sa Wadikap? Nasa Thailand ka pa? Sa Wadikap? Nasa Bangkok ka pa? Filipinas na po. <laughs> ah, Filipinas na, okay. Kapalit na po, yes. Uh, I would just like to add uh, something about the yung, yung sa wine and, and water. Uh, uh, personally po, medyo blessed lang ako kasi lumaki ako sa lola ko. So, nung, nung bata pa ako, parang uh, minulat niya na ako sa reverence uh, during the Mass. So, uh, in-educate niya ako na during the Mass, walang magasalita, you just have to pray. Mm -hmm. And I also want to 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 share also dun sa wine. Uh yung symbol yung symbol niya uh, for me it symbolizes the the bloody sacrifice of Jesus on the cross. Tapos uh, yung pagwisik ng konting water parang uh 
it purifies our sins. Yung parang yung yung anong yun yung yung body and blood of Jesus pinag-isa doon sa ano para ma ma ma, ma, ma implement sa uh, hindi ma implement yung parang may pakita sa atin yung kung, kung anong sacrifice ang ginawa sa atin ni Jesus para yung symbolize ayun ayun po ang akin sharing thank you okay si thank you Ate Bella no uh, actually napaka-interesting ng topic na yan ano si for example uh, why did we choose wine uh, in the mass no uh, but hindi na lang ibang klase no but only to find out uh, i think all of all, all of us are aware uh, for wine all right uh, to be uh, to be made it takes uh, uh, how do you put it tons of grapes no that you have to squeeze in just to produce wine in the same token no why bread diba uh, in the holy eucharist ba- bakit bread ang ginagamit uh, bakit hindi na lang iba only to find out also again with bread, a lot of symbolism and signage, no? Uh, bread, when you make bread, uh, it will have to come from wheat. And we know that for us to get to be able to get make bread from wheat, the wheat has got to die. No, mamamatay muna yung wheat. And then for us to get the grain and then to grind it. Again, it takes tons of tons of wheat to produce bread. The, that's signifying again the universality of our Catholic faith. And dami pa among others. All right. So uh, thanks, Ati Bella, for that insight. No? Uh, I think it, uh, Ati Bella is followed by Ati Dang. Ba? Ati Dang. Yes. Ati, Dang. Ati, Yoli. Ati Dang and then Ati Yoli. Ati Dang, where are you? Um, uh, kuya, kuya Rene, yung gusto ko lang din ma, may share yung yung bakit tayo nag nagsa sign of the cross yung during sa pray asa uh, reading of the gospel di ba uh, may tatlong part ng one na nilalagyan natin ng cross you know tapos ang isang tanong ko di ba dito sa noo tapos sa bibig di tapos dito sa puso natin ang ibig sa akin lang gusto ko share ang ibig sabihin noon na habang nakikinig tayo sa salita ng Diyos during the gospel, kailangan natin isaisip at ipoproclaim sa bibig at saka isa puso yung, yung narinig nating mabuting balita sa gospel. Ang ngayon, ang tanong ko, uh, kailangan pa ba after nung mag-sign of the cross tayo nung tatlong uh, part na maliliit, kailangan, after nun, kailangan pa ba na mag-sign of the cross yung malaking sign of the cross? Yan yun. Kasi para sa akin, enough na yung uh, nag-sign of the cross ka sa forehead, sa bibig, at sa, at sa, may, sa part ng may puso. Uh, no, not anymore at it done. No? Uh, in fact, uh, we'll be following the rubric. Okay, we'll be following the rubrics or the GIRM. Uh, there are prayers that uh, are associated with the small cross on the forehead the small cross on the lips, and then the small cross on the heart. And after those three small crosses, there's no need for the big cross. All right? Uh, yun nga lang again, culturally, yung mga ibang devotees, uh, nasasobrahan, no? nasasobrahan on what is with the GIRM or with the rubrics in terms of signages or symbolisms in our in our liturgy. Uh, hindi, na po, hindi na kailangan yun, no? Uh, but then again, that will be another but we, we're glad that you brought it. And we only do that during the Mass and during before the Gospel. Uh, we don't do that outside of the liturgy. Okay? So uh, that is highly liturgical or supposedly to be practiced only during the Mass. Yeah. Thanks, clarify. Uh, during po sa di ba nag uh, receiving of communion kasi um, marami kong na-observe po palagi na after we receive communion uh, parang lahat na na-observe ko sa iba ay after receiving nagsa sign of the cross which is sa akin po hindi ko ay hindi na po kailangan because uh, tanggap mo na yun 
nasayo na si Jesus, body of Christ. So, there's no need to make sign of the cross after receiving communion. Tama po ba yun? Yeah, you have a very good observation, Ate Dang. Uh, but then again, uh, we would like to to be clear about that. No, We don't mean to be judgmental. Uh, usually, those who are making the signs of the cross are doing it out of devotion, not out of a liturgical ritual. Meaning, uh, kuminsan it is out of uh, sincere gratitude or sometimes it is uh, out of uh, sincere contrition that uh, they they just feel compelled to make the sign of the cross uh, after receiving Holy Communion. It is very individualistic and usually it is, uh, how do I put it? Parang it's more of a devotion more than uh, a real practice in the church. No? Uh, now, technically speaking, there is no need to make the sign of the cross after you have received Holy Communion. All right? Yung iba, they also make the sign of the cross before receiving Holy Communion. Uh, I have also seen that, no? Pagka nagsusubo kami, yung iba, bago, bago uh, tumanggap ng Holy Communion, nagsasign of the cross pa rin, no? Uh, but uh, ang ano ko naman eh, who are we to judge, no? But basically, and I will say this with all due respect and with all our love, no? Uh, these people uh, are the ones who really have not learned the proper way, all right, in the liturgy. But we don't blame them for that. No? Uh, sabi nga, suffice it enough, nagsimba siya at nag-Holy Communion siya. All right? So again, um, and please be mindful, uh, dito tayo napupulaan ng mga non-Catholics. No? Uh, sabi nga nun, uh, mga Katoliko, hindi nila alam kung anong ginagawa nila. Hindi pare-pareho yung ginagawa. But note if you will, no? sa, sa Catholic of the Good Shepherd, I think we have a population of 80,000 people. Uh, at the Good Shepherd Parish, and we have uh, only one priest and uh, three assistants. Uh, how can they educate all of those eighty thousand? No. So uh, also, uh, this is uh, where we. Uh, this is where we are needed. No. Uh, tayo na nag-aaral ng ganito. Uh, I think it's a wake-up call. Na quote unquote. Not not for anything else. Uh, we who know a little better should also uh, spend an extra mile, all right, doing our role and part in also sharing this enlightenment with our co Catholics, especially those who are less learned. Kaya, kaya maganda yung question mo, Ati Dang, eh, no? It's a very good observation, and that is why now there's a need for us to study. And for us who study, there's also a need for us to teach uh, on the other hand. All right? It's part of our ministry. It's part of being Catholic because we are universal. And those people who do not know any better are still part of the our, of our universal church. So we care for them, so we teach them. Okay? Uh, thanks, Ati Dang, for that input. Uh, that is highly appreciated. Okay. We go to Ati Yoli. Ati Yoli, where you are? Oh, there's Hello. Ate Yoli. Ate Yoli. Yeah, good evening po. Good evening, Ate Yoli. Oh, Naririnig naman po, no? Loud and clear. <laughs> yeah, salamat. Uh, yung nag-gusto ko lang po i-share, yung how ano, be, being Catholic is really a, a blessing for each and every one of us. Napaka-swerte. Uh, uh, very, uh, we are given by Christ itong mga sacraments which are signs of grace by which divine life is dispensed to us. Meaning, nandito pa lang tayo sa lupa, on, while on earth, we, we are able to receive uh, or experience divine life through these sacramental signs, no? Like water, uh, yung holy water, not only for cleansing, but also for healing. Uh, and tayo mga katholiko with faith, uh, Laura ko ang holy water ay talagang uh, blessed and sabi nga yung nakukuha let's say sa Our Lady of Lords <laughs> uh, talagang it, it makes wonder no na kapag pagaling ng may sakit 
and other men- or mental health illnesses. Yeah. And then sa oil, ganun din po, uh, ito yung ginagamit ng pare for uh, anointing of the sick. Yep. And even yep. in extreme unction. So, it, para ta, it, yung bang, while we are pilgrims on earth, binigyan tayo ni Lord ng parang weapon as uh, His soldiers. Kailangan natin to. Uh, we must be equipped with this up sacramental signs. So, we can be powerful in a, in, in a way, no? Kasi we... Right we are given of some divine powers kasi yung na-observe ko po sa healing ministry they are they are using wa- holy water oil candle and uh, and also salt to yeah. drive away evil spirits again doon yung mga exorcism diba yung po yung mga pare na may may special gift of on uh, exorcism they also use these sacramental signs yeah. and Ah, uh, nung bata-bata pa po kasi ako nakakapag-join din ako ng mga healing ministry sa intercessory, ganun din bago mag-pray, we have to uh para purify ourselves. So nagla- naglalagay ng oil sa head ng bawat uh, uh yung bawat intercessory uh, member yeah. uh, to prepare ourselves to be worthy, para to be worthy to be to serve uh, yeah. uh inter or to intercede for others. Then, nung one time, yung katulad ni Brother Edric, nakaka-relate ako dun sa incense, na one time, sobrang, nasa harap po kasi ako ng, ano, <laughs> church. Yeah. So, malapit yeah. talaga ako dun sa binubugahan ng, ano, ng incense. Langhap na langhap ko talaga, as in, talagang hinimatay ako. Mga ilang minuto dun ninyo, pero, ang feeling ko nasa heaven na yata kasi ang gaan-gaan ng pakiramdam ko nakatulog ako nagising lang po ako nung yung katabi kong lalaki yun ano niya yung ulo ko <laughs> na kasi nakagilig naka, naka, hi, na ako sa balikat niya kami mo para siguro dito pa natulog ito pero if, ang sakit epekto yun ng incense kasi pagkatapos nun ang gaan-gaan naman ng pakiramdam ko kung hinimatay ako dapat diretso ako sa hospital Pero malakas naman ang katawan ko, nakapaglakad ako after the mass. So, so yung presence of God, parang ano, uh, yeah, I do not po ng incense. Based on experience ko. One, once lang yung nangyari, you know. uh, siguro sabi ko baka puyat ako o ano. Pero mabango, mab, yung sumunod nun, mabango na siya sa akin. Hindi ako nahahatching o ano. Parang very sweet ang smell sa akin na incense after that experience. You sure. <laughs> yes, uh, very Thank sweet. You. Thank you po. Yeah, uh, I, I appreciate that, no? Uh, ako siguro, I, I was blessed because uh, at a very tender age, I was I was an acolyte myself, no? I became an acolyte when I was eight years old and I was just in the third grade in elementary and we were taught about these uh, sacraments and then also the sacramentals. No? So if you would only know the background, why incense and then the way it is made. No? And then during our time, yung ginagamit namin ng charcoal para sa, sa, in, sa incense uh, uh, bowl, hindi naman yung uling na ginagamit natin na pang ihaw. All right? Uh, it, yeah, they're, they're charcoal br- briquettes, no? uh, roundish siya. Pag sinindihan mo, mabilis mabili siya mag-ignite. Eh. All right? And then you're supposed to pour, again, the incense in a measured format. All right? And that's why pag nakita mo yung uh, nag incense sa mga acolytes, uh, pati yun, no? even the way you you hold the, the incense uh, container, meron talagang tamang paghawak uh, with the thumb, with the other fingers. And then even the way you you move you move with it very it's very really... reverent yeah oh. and uh, to to find out na yung palang yung palang smell nung <laughs> nung yung scent ng smoke na na inubuhan natin yeah is is actually very reverent no? kung talagang alam mo ang ibig niya sabihin it's rather unfortunate again na not too many do understand that uh, even for example the sacramental sign of the holy water Dati, during my time, pagka nag-bless ng holy water, yung holy water nasa parang nasa mag- magandang bronze basin, ano ha? 
Tapos pag giniwisik, meron yung ginagamit na talagang tool, no? We i uh, soak sa sa bowl tapos ipagbe-bless na ganoon. Eh ngayon nakikita natin yung ginagamit eh nasa plastic na lang, no? Yung iba ay parang pinanggalingan ng alcohol. Tapos kesa pinagbe-bless na ganoon, ginagawa niya sinisirit na lang, no? Pinipress, sumisirit na lang yung tubig, kumisan dinidiretso pa sa mukha. Para sabi ko para nawawala na yung the sacred essence of the sacramental sign. No para bagang mabasa ka lang okay na. Uh, but that is not it eh, no. Uh, even the motion itself is already healing kung tutuusin when it is properly done. So these are the things that are that are, we are missing and uh, it's about time that we go back to them uh, to really learn more about the sacramental signs, no. Uh, sacramental na signs pa. Right? Uh, doble doble. Okay? All right. So uh, we, we move on. We now go to our fourth ep- fourth and last episode for this evening. Wow, 8.36 na. Ang bilis ng time, ano, ha? Okay, so we move on. And this time, we'll be delving on the ano ba talaga ang purpose ng Misa. Okay? We go a little bit deeper again. What's the purpose of the Mass? It's really important that we understand, first and foremost, that the Mass is the praise of God, and secondly, that it's our opportunity to pray for the world. I love the way that the Church constantly tells us what the Mass is about. So, for example, at the end of the preparation of the gifts, the priest says, pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours And the people respond, and when they respond, they say what the Mass is about. They say, may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name. Wait a minute. For the praise and glory of His name. That's the first purpose for the Mass. We are here to praise God for the wonderful things that He has done for us. And secondly, we're here to pray for the sanctification of the world. The prayer continued, for our good and the good of all His holy church. If we had those two ideas, the praise of God and praying for the world first and foremost in our minds when we celebrate Mass, it would completely change the way we experience the Mass. A lot of people think that the Mass is about forming community. Now, what I'd say there is that there is an aspect of of the celebration of the Mass that does form community, but community is a byproduct of our genuine worship of God. If we come to Mass, first and foremost, to praise God, to worship God, our care for others is something that follows automatically. The church has always tried to keep these two things in balance, the praise of God and care for others. And it's only when these two things are in balance, our praise of God and our care for others, that our prayer and our care of neighbor can be authentic. If we don't have care of neighbor in the Mass, then the words of praise are empty. If we don't have praise of God in our care of others, then our work is simply social work. So the purpose of the Mass is praise of God and prayer for the sanctification of the world. In our evaluation of the Mass, if we were to say, was God praised? Is my praise of God leading me to care for others, then we know that we have authentic worship of God. Wow. Uh, So short yet so profound, I know, huh? Okay. Uh, we hope and pray that uh, that new insight on the purpose of the mass makes it clear for us. No, uh, bakit nga ba tayo nagsisimba? No, uh, firstly, praise and worship for God, and then secondly, for the good of this whole of His whole holy church. Okay, 
uh, questions, comments, if you will. Wala nang small group sharing. Huh? Small group sharing. Ah. Okay. Uh, any more questions? Okay. Uh, Ati Dang, you're raising a hand. Um, kuya, may tanong lang po. Kasi, okay. di ba, uh, tanong lang ko po. Kasi hanggang ngayon, medyo hindi pa masyadong clear sa akin. Kasi, uh, before, may mga na-observe ako uh, nung nag-attend ako ng mga masses. Siyempre, siyempre mga experience ko po na 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 during the mass, nag-umpisa, okay, maybe sa akin, okay lang naman siguro kung before the mass, kasi may mga na, na-observe akong mga, uh, mostly mga matanda, na nagro-ro sa sila, no? Sa before the mass. And ang nakapagtaka din sa akin na kahit nag-umpisa yung mass, nagro-ro sa pa din. No? Yun yung ganun. We're, 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 we're in... Ang pag-iintindi ko, uh, the liturgy is the highest form of prayer. And then, bakit uh, is it necessary pa na kailangan pang mag-rosary within the Mass? Yun lang po. Okay. Uh, thank you for the question. The straightforward answer is no. All right? No. You don't need, that. You don't need to uh, pray the Holy Rosary during the Mass. Uh, again, uh, must I say, and you said the right premise, no? especially yung mga nakakatanda. Right? Usually, yung mga nakakatanda ang gumagawa nito. And usually, again, with all due respect, uh, these are not the sole learned no? devotees uh, who are doing this. Uh, please note also, if you will note the origin of the Holy Rosary, it was called the Peasant's People Prayer. All right, the rosary was quote unquote uh, devised by the by the former monks. Nasagenon yung mga peasants will be able to participate in their prayer, but the peasants cannot go for the psalms. For example, the the peasants cannot go for the uh, for the uh, liturgy of the hour prayer that the monks were using. So they devised the holy rosary. It was called the peasants prayer for the people. All right. Oh, why is that? Uh, it is the prayer for the lesser learned. That was the technical origin. Now, in the same token, all right, in the same token, yung mga nakakatanda na napapansin mo nagro-rosary, nagro-rosary bago magsimba, tapos nagmimisa na nagro-rosaryo pa. <laughs> all right. Ibig sabihin, either pinitin na tapos yung rosary or yung iba naman, believe it or not, yung iba naman, akala nila, they receive more graces when they pray the Holy Rosary during the Mass. Question, do they, do they know it well? The answer, they don't know any better. All right, they don't know any better. And then again, uh, I go down to my basic question, uh, who am I to judge? All right? Uh, so uh, uh, the, the long and short of it is that, yes, the Mass is the source and summit of our Catholic faith, and it is the rurok, no? Uh, it is the highest form of worship. Why? Because the presider, the celebrant, together with the victim, is no one else but Jesus Christ himself. And who can beat that? No one can beat that. All right? Now, let us pray for our good devotees uh, who don't know any better. To answer your question, uh, I will not say that they are wrong, but my answer is, there is no need to pray the Holy Rosary during the Holy Mass. The Holy Mass is a complete prayer by itself. And it is the highest form of worship. Okay. Ati Bella, uh, you're raising a hand and then followed by Bro JC. Ati Bella? Yes, po kaya rin. I just want to uh, share yung personal experience ko regarding dun sa interaction between priests and people. Uh, Meron kasi akong isang kaibigan before na hindi Catholic. Tapos uh, dinala ko siya mag-attend ng ng mass namin, ng mass sa atin na isang Sunday. Parang ano lang, nag nag-dare-dare nag lang kami. I go to their church and then siya mag-attend sa church natin. So first time niya mag-attend ng Catholic uh, mass. And then during the yung yung nga, yung, yung sagutan natin na uh, may the Lord accept the sacrifice. Uh natanim yung sa utak niya. 
Tapos another thing is yung uh, nagpipray for the dead. So after the mass, pumunta siya sa akin, tapos umiiyak siya. Sabi niya, ganun ba kayo magpray sa sa simbahan nyo? Why do you also have to pray for the dead? Tapos yung yung ano yun, yung yung moment na yun na na nakita niya sa atin, yun ang naging way para siya mag-convert sa Catholicism. Yung hindi niya daw nakita na yung care para na, kung yung care pala natin sa isa't isa as a Catholic Church, Universal Church, hindi pala nag nag-end sa buhay lang kundi after death pa rin, we pray for our loved ones. Wow. Yan po. Wow, congratulations Ate Bella. Job well done. <laughs> Job well done. Keep it up, keep it up. Okay. Thanks Ate Bella. Uh, Bro JC, back to you. Or is it Ate Mitch? Okay. Ito rin actually po, this is more of a question kasi nung nagpangkit po ni Father Douglas about yung response natin na uh, iting summary ng Holy Eucharist or yung Holy Mass, may the Lord accept the sacrifice into your hands for the praise and glory of His name and for our good and good of all His Holy Church. Ang question ko po is, yung Holy Mass po ba or yung celebration mismo po ay strictly one hour lang. The reason I ask is, most of the time po, ako po, guilty rin po ako dyan, parang I'm just going with the motion to respond. Hindi ko na siya nananamnam nanamnam ko lang siya right now uh, right now after hearing um Father Douglas na ito pa ito pala ang summary ng mass for the praise and glory of his name or god and for care, for our care to our neighbor in di ba po ang dami nating mga moments na nagre-respond tayo sa priest pansinin po natin yung priest ninanamnam niya yung mga sinasabi niya sa congregation or sa parishioners pero yung parishioners in response ang bilis tapos po, na, may, ang personal experience ko rin po is, part rin po ako ng lekom, nung commentator po ako, parang I'm going through the motion na mabilis din ako mag-respond, hindi ko na nanamnam yung response ng mga parishioners. So, ayun po, ayun po yung question. Malina po ba? Yep, yep. Ah. Right. Okay. Um, uh, let me answer your question, Bro JC. No, huh? uh, kailangan ba matapos sa one hour? Uh, my answer is uh, just like... Uh, It's like when we go and eat outside, all right? If you go for one for fine dining, I don't think you'll finish your dinner in one hour. Uh, fine dining is easily two hours and to three hours. Fine dining, all right? But if you go to a fast food, all right? Fast. Yeah, fast food yan eh, no? Meaning, therefore, uh, kung minsan nga eh, nag naghihintay ka ng mesang ma mabakante para makaupo ka kagad, no? Eh, siyempre naman, kung kumakain ka sa fast food, nakita mo may nakatayo sa tabi mo, you cannot afford to eat for one hour yung burger mo, no? <laughs> yung burger mo, eh, ubus mo yung 10 minutes kasi may naghihintay sa tabi mo. In the same token, uh, forgive me for saying this again, all right? Uh, for example, in our various churches, we have some churches where the mass is on the hour every hour, like in our church now, okay? Prior to this, Uh, we had a lapse of one and a half hours interval from one mass to the, to the next. Now, when we decided, because of a need, you know, because we had to, to clo momentarily close the parish church for its renovation, and we have to move to a smaller place, to accommodate more people for the, for the masses, we needed more masses. So in practicality, from the admin standpoint, Um, it was prescribed that one mass now should not actually even one hour, eh, dapat 50 minutes lang para meron 10 minutes of egress at saka ingress of the people. You see, it's out of a need. No, it's out of a need. But for some parishes where they don't have to go uh, on the hour or every hour, uh, the mass does not have to be to be finished by one hour. So one and a half. Oh, yeah, but on the other hand, on the other hand, All right, and perhaps we think you may want to share on this. If the priest uh, solemnly presides over the mass, wag lang yung misa kantada, ha? wag lang yung uh, ikanga yung uh, sang mass, uh, yung regular mass na reverently, one hour is enough. No, one hour is enough. Uh, wag lang yung, uh, kasi yung iba, uh, mer meron na tayong uh, Roman Nisal na sinusunod, pero mayroon mga ibang presiders that they pray even more than that. No? Uh, say, for example, 
uh, bago pa yung uh, confiteor uh, at, the, at the start of the Mass. Merong iba, nagbibigay na ng sinopsis ng gospel. Y you get the picture, no? Kung, kung ganado yung pare, bago pa may uh, yung confiteor, magbibigay na ng sinopsis of the gospel na hindi pa namang kinakailangan. You get the picture. Yung iba, after Holy Communion, meron pang follow-up yung kanyang homily. <laughs> okay? So, kanya-kanyang style. Pero, kung susundin lang talaga yung Roman Missal uh, in the celebration of the Holy Mass, so yung order of the Mass, one hour is actually enough. Hindi ka nagmamadali. Uh, the priest uh, 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 says the prayers solemnly. The people also respond solemnly na hindi nagmamadali. One hour is enough. Uh, of course, not to mention that is working on the assumption that the priest is prepared for the homily. All right? Uh, ngayon ang homily, supposedly on the average, seven to eight minutes. Wherein, pagka-prepared ka sa homily mo, believe it or not, in seven or eight minutes, ang dami mong pwedeng masabi kung nakahanda yung homily mo. Mag maganda yung beginning, maganda yung middle mo, at saka maganda yung closing mo for your homily in seven minutes, you can serve a very good homily for the Mass. Alright? Eh, ba, ito rin yun, bakit ng 30 minutes, 40 minutes, ang tatagal ng homily, hindi pa makalanding-landing. Bakit? Eh, hindi preparado eh. Okay? They're, they're caught in air traffic. Pagdating sa taas, hindi makalanding, ikot ng ikot. Bakit? Eh, kulang sa preparasyon. Okay? So in that regard, uh, to, to answer the question, kaya kailangan ba one hour or uh, how do we do it? Uh, again, uh, please, no. Uh, when we respond, we don't have to hurry up the prayers. All right? Kasi to me, prayer is really conversing with God. Di ba? Alam nga naman Diyos ang kausap mo, minamadali mo, Lord, time na eh. Pasensya ka na, kinakailangan na mong silta ng mabilis. You don't do that, di ba? Uh, you talk to Him reverently, you take your time, ninanamnam mo, ika nga. Magandang time na ninanamnam mo. So again, uh, hopefully also, uh, let us also pray for our priests that they would also set a good example for the for the laity. No? Uh, kasi yung iba, pagka na-late yung pare, tapos meron pa siya susunod na misa, may tendency magmadali. Let's also pray for them. Okay? Kuya Dinky was raising uh, his hand. No judgment. Uh, Kuya Dinky, you're raising a hand. Kuya Dinky. Siguro, Kuya Tito Rene, quick lang po, no? Yung, yung una kay Ate Dang, Siguro para uh, alam din ng lahat, meron tayong term na tinatawag na popular piety. So um as long as it doesn't affect yung misa as a personal gesture mo as a sign of your piety, it is allowed. Kaya silent yung general instructions of the Roman Missal on signing of the cross, pati yung tinanong kanina na nag, yung fourth na sign of the cross, di ba? Tatlo sa ay isa sa head bibig tapos sa, sa dibdib tapos another big sign of the cross diba? silent yung part doon kasi those are popular piety yung tawag doon so kumbaga we don't regulate those because it doesn't affect naman yung misa what we, what the church regulates are those that affect yung misa tapos yung kay, yung tanong naman ni uh, si brother JC po kanina no? yung uh, ang tawag kasi doon pastoral science eh. parang the church adjusts based on the type of parish that is provided. So kunwari, sa setting natin, cathedral tayo, um, dahil um, sobrang daming tao, no? tapos magre nagpa-renovate tayo, dinagdagan natin ng misa. So parang naging uh, additional tayo. So ang tawag doon, actually, Ecclesia Suplet, the church supplies what is lacking. So so meron naman mga lugar na hindi kailangan rush yung misa kasi aapat lang yung Sunday mas nila or dadalawa lang isa sa mga sa hapon. So ang maga, um, parang the church also adjusts based on its location parang ganun so there's no parang tama si Tito rin eh walang time limit for the mass pero syempre pangit naman din na mukha siyang rush kaya naman iayusin yan pag well regulated yung mass eh. thank you uh, thanks Kuya Linky thanks for that uh, Ate Dang you're raising again you're raising a hand follow up ba yan follow up Ah, uh, kuya, sorry ha, sorry po sa lahat. Pero ito nag-bother talaga ito sa sa utak ko. Kasi 
Ah, hindi naman ito. Ibang ibang issue ito. May may kasi may kaibigan kasi ako, pero hindi siya Catholic. Ah, uh, nak- nakilala niyo si Rosie Lola. Yung yung lola na nakarating lang dito sa amin, nakasama ko. Hindi siya Catholic, pero wala wala akong alam kung nasaan yung ano simbahan nila. So dinala ko siya dito sa atin. Pinasimba ko siya dito sa Good Shepherd dahil hindi ko naman alam kung eh matanda na siya eh. So so dinala ko siya and then uh, nagkataon na dumating din yung pamangkin niya na parang naintriga din yung pamang yung pamangkin ng ni Lola na magsimba. So nagsimba one one Sunday nagsimba din yung pamangkin niya. So So choir ako nandoon sila sa nakaupo sila during the the receiving of communion. Hindi ko naman alam ah uh, nag-receive din sila ng communion. Sila si si Lola at saka yung pamangkin niya. Ngayon nalaman ko lang dahil uh, one time na nag-usap kami, sabi niya dang ah uh, yung ano ba sa misa ninyo yung may may ano, tumayo kasi yung mga tao tapos pagkatapos nag-receive sila ng communion, sumunod sila. Ngayon, nag, na, kinabahan ako, sabi ko, hala, ah, hindi ko alam kung ano, sabi niya, tama ba yun na, na sumali kami? <laughs> Wala akong naisagot sa kanya. Kasi ako din, hindi ko alam kung 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 tama ba yun or kung kasalanan yun. <laughs> ako ba ay naging part doon <laughs> sa kasalanan na yun. <laughs> Ako ba ay nagkasala kasi ako yung nagdala doon kay Lola. Yun yung tanong ko na may process po ba yun na <laughs> da, kailangan pagdaanan nila bago sila makakareceive ng communion. <laughs> yun yung kinakabahan ko nung na, naalala ko ngayon. Sabi ko hala, kailangan ko talaga itanong ito. <laughs> yun okay. lang. Ati Dang, uh, I'll, I'll keep it short and simple. Um... Uh, With all due respect, you made a mistake there. All right. Uh, if you knew that they were not Catholics and then you invited them for the Mass, at the least you should have guided them. All right. Uh, just for you to see to see the uh, importance. Last Sunday when we went to Mass here in Singapore, the priest before the Holy Communion made an announcement. The Holy Communion is, the Holy Communion is only for the baptized Catholics. I was surprised to hear that. All right, but he made that very formal. Now the Holy Communion is only for baptized Catholics, meaning therefore there's a fairly good chance that there there are non-Catholics who may be in the mass, mm-hmm. observing or being invited or for whatever reason. But the priest made sure that the res- the reception of Holy Communion was done properly well. So uh, the straightforward answer to your question, Atidang, uh, it it was a mistake that uh, that you had. Um, they should have been guided properly, and uh, they should not have received Holy Communion because they they're not baptized Catholics. They're not prepared and ready for that. Okay, uh, Suguro, we can discuss this on another on another venue, another forum. But just to address your question for your peace of mind, all right, it was a mistake. Oh, of course, it was not intentionally done. So um, if it is a sin, perhaps it's a venial sin, but not a mortal sin, because it will not qualify for a mortal sin, because mortal sin requires uh, re- uh, willfully. No? Uh, alam mo nang mali, pinagawa mo pa, that's, then it becomes a mortal sin. Perhaps uh, if it is a sin, siguro it's a venial sin. And uh, for your peace of mind, it would be good if you can go to confession And bring that up in the confession and then get the word from the priest himself. Okay, but for now, uh, be not afraid. Uh, peace be with you. <laughs> it was not intentionally done, so don't be too much bothered. But let it be a learning for you also. It's an, eye, an, an eye-opener because that is how important the Holy Mass is, especially the Holy Communion, especially the Holy Communion. Okay, so I hope that addresses your concern, uh, Ati Dang. Uh, have your peace in your heart. Go to confession if you must, all right? And then uh, be be at peace. Be at peace. Ati Christine was raising her hand. Uh, Ati Christine, you're raising a hand. Ay, hindi po okay na po. Nasagot na po yung tanong kanina. Okay. 
All right, so. Ate Marisa. Uh, Ate Marisa, you're raising your hand. Ate Marisa, okay. Kuya, ano ko lang kasi, kanina nung sabi yung, yung umpisa nung, ano ba yung misa, di ba? Parang okay. naghahanap ako ng mas, mal, mas kumbaga, alam ko naman na it is a form of prayer, di ba? Mga highest form of prayer, ganyan. Nag-expect pa ako ng mas malalim. Ah, Pero habang okay. pinapaliwanan siya, ito na siya, yung, ito na yung ang meaning niya, na yung praise, yung, yung praising God leading us to care for others. Yep. Parang ito po kasi yung may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands. Sabisado ko, alam ko, pero ngayon ko lang po nalaman kung gano'n siya kahalaga doon sa misa. Wow, yes. Uh, thank na you. Siya yung nagsasabi na, ito na po yung kabuan ng misa pala. Ano po ba yung hinahanap ko? Parang habang nagsasalita kayo, habang nagsasalita. Yeah, yeah. Uh, sabi ko, ano, ano po ba yung nakalabutan gano'n? Uh, sorry, Ate, Ate Marisa, nag-chapi ka. Pag may misa mo, please mo, kung hindi naman nag-lead sa'yo, nakakabong. Uh, sorry, Ate Marisa, yeah, you're chapi. Uh, we cannot understand what sorry you're saying. Sorry po, nasa siya. Ako. Oh. Sorry. Perhaps... Nasa room po kasi ako. So wala po kayo. Okay lang po. Hello po. Yep. Uh, I'm Ayan sorry. Ayan na po kuya. Mal Sapi talaga ako mahina yung signal ko. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Ate Marisa, you can po. just chat it. Yeah, you, you can. Okay you po. The chat. I message mo. Oh, yeah. Ah, sige po. Thank you Ate Marisa. Sige, Sal. Thank you po. Ate Sal, you're raising a hand. Kindly unmute. Uh, good evening. Pasensya na kasi wala po akong mahina pong signal. Short thing lang naman po sa akin lang regarding sa time ng mass. For me, uh, regardless if it's one hour or less, what is important is yung um yung ano mo, yung focus mo, yung sincerity mo, yung pag-attend mo ng mass kasi I believe yung iba kasi nag-attend ng mass just for the sake of going lang po sa mass. But for me, it's the, it's the ano eh, yung talagang Kasi katulad mag-homily ang pare, ahabain pero hindi naman pala, hindi makaikot, hindi makalanding. So, two things. Yung pagmamas, regardless if it's one hour or one hour less, it's okay as long as tama pong ating focus tayo kay Lord at andun yung solemnity po natin. Second is, yung homily po ni Father, it's regardless if 30 minutes or 7 minutes, what is important is na andun talaga yung yung uh, tama na sasabihin po ng pare. Yun lang po. So, thank you po. Okay. Thank, thank you very much, Ati Sal. We appreciate that. Thank Thanks. you po. Welcome. Okay. So, um, Kuya, Kuya, Kuya Rene? Yep. Yeah, Kuya Lito. Yeah, Kuya Lito. Come in. Just, just the thank you. Just a short sharing. Uh, uh, years back, there was a particular lector who actually heard Mass twice on a Sunday. Okay. Okay. Uh, he attended the first Mass because he was assigned to be a lector for that Mass. And then he heard Mass again after his duty Mass. And I told him, I asked him why was he uh, attending Mass twice. Okay. And his, his simple answer was this. Pag nag duty daw kasi siya, Masyado siyang focus dun sa mechanical aspect of being a lector. Baka daw kasi meron siyang makalimutang gawin o makalimutang basahin. Sabi ko, e ba't nagmimisa ka uli ng ikalawa? Ang sabi naman, ang sagot sa akin is, sa ikalawang misa kasi, dun ako focus sa misa itself. Sabi niya. So that is, the, well, I, I don't know. Uh, it only happened once in 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 my experience in the lector's ministry, but I tried to convince him to, can you not focus on the substance of the Mass and take uh, take the technical aspect uh, uh, 
not necessarily or lessen the focus on the technical mass para dun isang misa ka na lang. Eh parang ang kanya hindi daw niya kaya yun eh. So I would just like to share that experience to to everybody. I will not mention the name but uh, he's still around. Medyo matanda okay. natin. Thank you, Kuya Rene. Uh, you're welcome, Kuya Litz. Uh, okay, so, um, yeah, do you hear me? A am I coming in loud and clear? No. Yeah, no. Yes, okay. Uh, well, um, uh, allow me to say this, uh, Kuya Lito, with all due respect again, uh, and of course with all our love, no? Um, during the time of Monsignor Fidelis, he was very keen on the selection of the lectors commentators, and ministers of Holy Communion. Uh, obviously, this brother of ours, uh, if that is his mindset, obviously, he's not quite well prepared for the ministry. No? Parang dinaikotomize niya yung kanyang pagsiserve sa kanyang pagsisimba. Mm. And supposedly, uh, the, the lector or the commentator, uh, again, with all due respect, if they are properly prepared, uh, they should not take it separately like ito service ko to or ito pagsisimba ko. Duty ko Meaning, sure. Yeah, exactly. Meaning, therefore, uh, they should be able to enjoy the celebration and at the same time also uh, get the joy of being able to serve in their respective ministry. Mm -hmm. So obviously, that brother of ours uh, is still ill-prepared. But uh, one good thing about that is that uh, he compensates no, for his uh, deficiency, so to speak, uh, being technical about it. Uh, <laughs> but then again, I think it's also a wake-up call for us. Now, for us uh, in the in the ministry, especially uh, uh, if we are <laughs> if we are given the quote unquote the privilege of training others, no, uh, to to really make sure that the our uh, our brothers in the ministry or sisters in the ministry rather are also well prepared properly trained among other things uh, Lits, uh i think uh, you will easily agree with me if i say na uh, ito yung isang aim ng ating uh, ginagawang uh, pag-aaral ngayon no uh, sabi nga yeah, it may sound to be very basic no uh, but actually it's not no uh -huh. uh, we are just uh, barely scratching the surface and for the for the intention of uh, for the for the benefit of 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 the others, uh, there's another uh, program in the, in in the list, no. And uh, we, uh, Dinky and I are both excited with this. We have the Lectio Eucharist. It is a deeper study of the Holy Mass, and it's a longer version. Uh, what we are now doing, quote unquote, forgive us for saying this, it's not that it is a patikim. But this is the lightest, uh, the lightest mode of uh, learning about the Eucharist as a starter, as a starter. So we have another program in the list waiting, and that is Lectio Eucharist. Uh, it is with deeper theology and uh, it is with deeper uh, spirituality. Um, uh, mas maganda yan, mas maganda yan. Okay. All right. Thanks, Queer Leeds, for the input. Huh? You, uh, thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Na, yung sinasabi ni, ano, ni Ate Marisa kanina na natutuwa daw pala siya na doon sa chat nilagay niya natutuwa siya na malaman na yung kabuuan pala ng Misa ay yung praising God is leading us to care for others after mga explanation nga po ang hinahan ano pa nga ba daw ang hinahanap niyang kahuglugan Parang yung kabisado kung may the Lord accept the sacrifice of mass ay kabisado ko lang. Pero ngayon, nalaman ko na na napakahalaga pala niya. That's Thank correct. you. Yun po yung sinasabi pala ni Ate Marisa kanina. Ah, okay. Thank you, Ate Marisa. Uh, si Ate Rachel. Sigo, yeah, Ate Rachel, you're raising a hand. Tapos uh, si Ate Marisa nakataas pa yung kamay. Okay, ah, okay. Okay. Yan, Ate Rachel, your turn. Nakamute ka pa, Ate Rachel. Kindly unmute. Uh, may I share lang po my guilt okay. <laughs> feeling kasi po, <laughs> kasi po I know hindi kompleto yung pag-attend ng Holy Mass without the Holy Communion po, no? without receiving the Holy Body and Blood of Christ. Now, ako po ay alam niyo naman, lector, pero on Thursdays po, cantor ako. 
So, hindi po ako, syempre po kumakanta o throughout po, no? Sa Hope Communion, hindi ako nakaka-receive ng Holy Communion. Tapos, dinatapos ang misa. Andiyan na po yung sila lola, sila nakakausap. Eh, tatanggap po ako ng, yun. So, na-miss ko po siya several times na nalulungkot po ako lang eh. Diba po? Diba? Hindi, yes, dapat yes. na. So, ano po magandang, kasi si father lang po, wala namang, um, um, Uh, lay minister. So, hindi ko mahabol si Father. Pupunta na lang po ba sa sacristy? Oh, no. eh, pero, andito na po yung ating ano, eh, tabernacle. So, paano yeah, po? Yeah. Okay. Uh, as a soft uh, rule of thumb, uh, at the ratio, that can, be, that can be done by giving the priest a heads up. Mm-hmm. Right? Uh, Father, uh, we, uh, we at the music ministry or we the, the cantors, for example, Uh, don't have the opportunity to receive Holy Communion during its time. All right. Uh, Father, would you be so kind to uh, give us Holy Communion at, at, at the appropriate time where it can be proper, possibly done? All right. Meaning, meaning, therefore, may heads up si Father na alam niya na hindi kayo makakapag-communion at the communion time. Mm-hmm. All right. So he, he may give it to you after the, after after the, the, mass. After the mass. No? Uh, without have without being uh, how do I put it unprepared na upo sa tabernacle mm-hmm. pwede na kaset aside na yung para sa inyo pwede naman yun eh, he may ask like uh, ikaw lang ba iha or sabi sa iyo mm-hmm. ilan kayo uh, so mm-hmm. that uh, after holy communion he might set aside uh, three or four or five depending on how many you are okay. and then at the most appropriate time he can give you holy communion okay. all right because uh, Oh, kasi yung pasok mo kanina akala ko you missed Holy Communion without any any reason no but if you are uh, kasi merong iba talaga yung uh, either yung pare binibigyan ng Holy Communion yung mga choir ahead of time inuuna niya para mm-hmm. makaawit sila na hindi mm-hmm. na may istorbo yung misa okay. naman yung misa naman meron naka-assign na lay minister Mm-hmm. Uh, after ng kumanta at saka binibigyan yung, yung okay. prayer naman. Mm-hmm. But those are prepared, Iha. Okay. Meaning may, may heads up ang pare o kaya yung minister. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Uh, yeah, could you think anything you'd like to add? You're raising a hand. So actually, uh, Ita Marisa, uh, Ate Marisa, may, ch- may chinata ko sabi ko, ano, research nyo yung Jim Jupol, yan yung assignment mo for this week. <laughs> Kung gusto mo mas malalim. Kasi ah, okay. sa parisa gusto niya mas malalim. Kaya try niya lahat, i-research niya lang yung one word you fall. 'Di ba? Memorize niya naman yung <laughs> You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore this Christian prayer by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall. Research niya lang yung one word the dew fall. <laughs> Tapos yung action before that, makikita niyo na rin. Tawag din epic lessons. So, dito rin I just want to share lang po no. Yep. Uh, para makita nila ba no how it works. Gusto niyo Interested po ba yung mga tao makita what the priest usually reads? Anong itsura nung paano nagbabasa ang pare? Paano niya binabasa? Okay. Isang misal, oh. para just to give them a yeah. glimpse. Yeah, I think uh, uh, if kung ano, uh, Kuya Dinky, uh, our, our next uh, session for, for Friday, uh, we have a full participation as one of the episodes, eh, di ba? Would you like to handle it there? Ah, sure, no problem naman po. Oo. Kasi I was ah. just thinking kanina parang mas ah. ma-appreciate nila paano a priest acts. Parang alam nila na baka kala nila memorize lang ni Father. Baka gusto ko makita nila paano binabasa ni Father yung misal. Aha. Uh-huh. Yeah. Ang concern ko lang kasi we now have 14 minutes after 9. Medyo overtime na tayo. Uh, uh, kaya I was thinking it might be more prudent if we will save that for next Friday para hindi tayo nagmamadali. And it is still in line with the with the episode for Friday, you know, yung uh, participation in the mass. Sige po, sige po. Yeah, kuya Dinky, siguro we might we might as well confess to them. Ah, uh, sa inyo po mga participants, mapapansin niyo tonight, wala po tayong small group discussion. Uh, reason being, we made a, a shift in our approach or methodology. Uh, we thought of spending more time after each episode, unlike last Friday. Tinuhog natin yung uh, apat na episodes tapos small group sharing. 
uh, we would like to beg your indulgence because we are at the experimentation period. <laughs> you are our first batch, <laughs> right? Uh, so we're we're trying to find means and ways on how to eff effectively and efficiently facilitate uh, this uh, beautiful session for us. No, but please uh, be mindful. Now we are not taking it lightly. Uh, while we are experimenting, uh, we are also trying to find the the best practice that we can have. So please bear with us. And our prayer is that any any time and every every time we're having these uh, these sessions. The Holy Spirit is the one guiding us, no? Mm -hmm. Until we come mm -hmm. up with with the with the with the real thing, <laughs> mm -hmm. okay. But but by that time, our also prayer and hope is that some of you will also be facilitators with us already. Okay, mm -hmm. bayon, <laughs> <laughs> diba? Uh, yung yun ang benefit ng first class, no? Uh, sana some of you will say na, "Oi, gusto na gusto ko sumali dyan para mag-facilitate din ako." And you'll be more than welcome. Kuya Renek? Yeah, quick, really quick, so. oh, quick, yeah, quick lang, quick lang. Can, sure. uh, uh, probably the, the participants have already noticed that uh, the si Father, ano pangalan nun? Yes. Anyway, uh, it makes reference to, to a number of uh, resource materials. Okay. May I suggest that for those who still do not have maybe copies of... Uh, of these resource materials, may I suggest that uh, the participants get a hold of the Catechism of the Catholic Church, yep. general instructions of the Roman Missal, <laughs> as right. well as the Constitution of the Sacred Liturgy. Yung, oh, okay. tatlo, yung tatlo lang na yun. Para yes. pag nag si Father ng ganyan-ganyan, at least they have they can look back to the book, yes. to the reference, and really yes. really go and delve into it deeper than, than okay. what Father is uh teaching us. Yun lang suggestion. Okay. Thank you. All right. Okay. So uh, for, for your appreciation, what Kuya Dito is suggesting, uh, Father Douglas Martis is actually using three references uh, for his uh, for his resourcefulness. No, uh, One is the Catechism of the Catholic Church. Second, the Constitution on the Holy Mass. And then third is, uh, anong pangalok Kuya Dito? Yung uh, GIRM. Yeah, GIRM. No? Uh -huh. uh, uh, sure edits, uh, to make it softer on them, <laughs> to make it softer on you, uh, allow me to share with you the guidelines that we have on this. Doon yung makikita yung sinasabi ni Kuya Lito. No? Uh, the uh, phrases that Father Mar Douglas Martin are sharing are actually referenced. Hindi rin siya, hindi rin siya whimsical. Meaning, therefore, hindi lang niya sinasabi gusto niya sabihin Yun, uh, kung hindi, meron siya actual references na ginagamit talaga. So what we're getting is actually a result of research. Hindi po siya whimsical. Uh, they can be quoted because his statements and uh, his instructions are taken from these official church documents. Tama ba, Kuya Litz? I think that's yes. the point, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Right. Thank, Thank you, Kuya Litz, for that. You're welcome. You're welcome. Uh, I was uh, I was actually thinking about that, and uh, you're letting you're telling us now uh, is confirming that it is what the Holy Spirit wants to do. So we'll do that. We'll Thank give you copies of the guidelines, para softer sa kanila ko yun. Okay. Yep. Uh, Ati Christine, you're raising a hand. Yes, po tito. Yung ano po, di ba sabi niyo po na tinatry niyo po ngayon yung um, session na to kahit na wala pong ano, uh, breakout. Parang tingin ko po, for me po ha, mas okay po kasi po mas na naliliwa na agad po yung kada episode po. Yung mas na explain okay. po deeper. And at the same time, yung mga agam-agam, yung mga questions po ng bawat tao na, ta na ano po, na a-address po. Okay. Thanks for the affirmation, uh, Ate Christine. We appreciate that. Salamat po. Salamat po. Uh, that's why uh, well, please keep on praying for us all right, as we are going through this journey together uh, because I would like to believe that this is Holy Spirit led. No? So we're giving it our best shot. God knows. <laughs> so <laughs> please bear with us uh, until the such time na sabi nga, smooth and swab na ang takbo natin. But for now, I'm very happy with what we're doing. And uh, I'm so grateful for all of you uh, for really joining and participating during our during our sessions. Mm -hmm. And I'm very sure, without a doubt, that Christ Jesus, our Good Shepherd, 
is so well pleased with what we're doing for him. Nag-agree nag -agree naman si Michelle and si JC. <laughs> and pinasuan ka na ni si Sioli at saka ni... Uh, sino ba ba isa? Si Nicole Yata. Okay, thank you very much. And uh, I, I also would like to uh, uh, say our sincerest apology for the overtime. Uh, we didn't mean it. We started on time. I was thinking we will end on time. Yes. But it looks like like overtime tayo. Okay? Okay. All right. Okay. So thanks a lot for all of the uh, reactions. Uh, no? Ate Christine, can we have a group picture, please? Oh, salamat sa inyong mga puso, mga <laughs> thumbs up, <laughs> mga hands clap. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, thank you very much. Uh, cameras on. We, we are cameras humble. Cameras on po sa lahat. Cameras on, oh, cameras on daw po. Cameras on po lahat. Yan. For our picture taking. Yan. Mm -hmm. uh, two pages yan, Ate, Ate Christine. No? Opo, two pages po. Ate Sal okay. po. Mahina lang po signal. Medyo ano. Sige, sige, sige. Ako lang lang si Ate Sal. Okay. Uh -oh. okay. Yung boses na lang ni Ate Sal ang kontakan natin. <laughs> sige po. Smile po everyone. Okay. Okay po. Uh, teka lang po. Page Pinch ko lang po muna. Page 2. Page 2. Mag-smile pa rin po lahat dahil hindi po na kinalam. <laughs> Baka nasa page 2 rin po tayo. <laughs> Okay, in three, two, one, smile everyone. Okay na po. Okay. Ako may dalawang makulit na sumulpot. Alright. <laughs> may dalawang bakit makulit. Wa, hello, hello. Nasaktuhan okay. po sila. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so uh, once again, uh, allow us to express our sincerest gratitude uh, for having uh, desired and decided to uh, to join us for today. It's a Friday beautiful evening. Uh, thank you for joining for joining us and participating in this uh, very, very interactive session. And I'm very sure that God is well pleased. So we look forward to seeing you again on Friday. And for this, let us now pray. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Amen. And uh, now for our uh, final blessing. <clears throat> okay. May the Lord bless us and keep us. May the Lord make his face to shine upon us and be gracious to us. And may the Lord lift up his countenance upon us and give us peace. And may the blessings of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon us all now and for always. Amen. 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 And amen. amen. All right. Have a good weekend, all of you. Have a good weekend. Good night, po. Looking forward to the next session. Good night, everyone. Good night, po. Thank you, po. Thank you, po. Salamat, Friday, po. Thank you, po. Good night. Good night, everyone.